Huh? Huh? Ah, ah, ah. Hi, there hi, hi. I'm just doing that. I'm waiting for it to go live, dance. It is live, isn't it? We'll see. Hopefully the icons are going to go again. They were gone a minute ago. It usually oh, well. goes after about a minute or two. Or your, your face is being framed. No, it is. <laughs> Hello everybody! Can you hear us? Can you see us? Is is everything happening? Uh, hi Elga Collection, how are you doing? Hope you're enjoying a nice evening. Hi Patrick, a long time no see, good to have you here. Yes, Owen Jones. Johnny. Hello, we are indeed live. Excellent. Good, good. I like getting feedback from the chat <laughs> so I know what's happening. Um, hey Patrick, you, you alright? Um, we can see in here. Thank you, Bronx, for confirming. Always good. It's been a good start. You all know what's happened. It's right here. This is happening. Anyway, this will be. Um, I'm, I'm about like what a year and a half late to the party, but because this has been out. I saw that Emma Soros is, is streaming at the exact same time as me and she's streaming like an unreleased Star Wars set and I was <laughs> like, <laughs> I cannot compete. <laughs> anyway, I've got you, you're my USB, thank you Ben. Apparently, um, yeah. Knocked over a figure in Diagon Alley. Um, I hope everybody's doing well, I hope everybody's having a nice evening, morning, afternoon, whatever. <laughs> he needs to put his hair back on. He's fine, I'm, I'm sorting him out. Ben's just fixing my diagonal display. Thanks, Owen. Whilst he's fixing that, shall we shall we get on with opening this? Actually, we need to filter my chat so I can see all the chat and not just um, the top chat. There we go. Hello, Brickapix, Christian M, um, Amiga Man, Finbricks as well. It's all happening. Lego Mama 92, they're all here. Well, all the important people nearly are in the house, so it's time. It's time to get the weapons out. Where's one of those brick things? I need one of these. It was there before. No, it wasn't. It was there before. Oh, I think you need to put it on sideways. Sorry, the excitement is being is being postponed. Spence is fixing the display. Never mind, it's fine. I can't fix it. So it's gonna stay okay, there. we'll fix it later. It's fine. <laughs> that was going well. Hey, the minifig who? Um, how are you both? How are you, Ben? Tell me. Not too bad. Were you going to elaborate on that? Yeah, you know, living the dream. Living the dream. All that good stuff. Right. So. James is here. James! Hello, James. Hello. What, what excitement uh, in your voice. The minifig who as well. We filmed, we filmed Ben's first D&D video the other day. Which didn't we, Which may or may not ever get released. Was I the cheer crew behind the camera? You were. Was I like, ooh, ah. Wow! I'm riding all the side effects. That's what, that's what I was doing. <coughs> right. Okay. Straight in with the questions. Are you going to buy another Diagon Alley? One moment, please. I think it's empty. I think so. Right. Let me move this away. Am I going to buy another Diagon Alley? Do you think you can answer that, Ben? For me? You, uh, you probably you know? will. I've been saving for a second Diagon Alley for few months now. It's not going very quickly because um, I am also spending it on other things, but very, very slowly um, I am getting there. I'm co I'm kind of, I don't know, a quarter of the way there, so <laughs> not doing amazingly. Yeah, not doing, not, doing, not, not too, too bad, bad A quarter not of the way there is still a fair too amount fair. of launch. Yeah. I hope, I want to be able to buy it when it's double points in October. Because I would like to buy Diagon Alley with double points, because let's be honest, that would be fantastic. <laughs> so, there we go. Unboxed. Very nice. The instructions. It's quite a big book, actually. Can I just say that? It's so, chunky. Chunkos. I, I feel like I should have had like, a stand to put it on. That would be... You need a lectern. A lectern, so I can be like, thank you for joining my lecture today, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Today we'll be talking about the virtues of Lego, Lego in my lecture. life. Yeah. Must know these kinds of things, you know. There's lots of greetings going on there. Could you want to say hi to everybody that's joining? Oh, I have. I think. Have you? You have. Yeah, hi to everyone. In your, hi, in your head. Hi you to have. everyone who's joining. There you go. Can you um, shout them out? I haven't seen anyone else joining. I'll go collect them because you know, yeah, I said hi to me. ODJ is here. Hello. Ah, there you go. O ODJ. 
So I'm just gonna make lots of bag noise so I can find out which I need to build first. Bag six. I would imagine it'd be bag one. Bag five. Bag four. Bag three. Bag it's very loud. Bag two. <laughs> Got one bag. Let's go. Let's go. Make sure's here. Make bricks. I've Ugh. Already <laughs> seen. Uh, so Ben, what's new with D and D? Is already cropped up. Ah well, what is new with D and D? Ben's not making much new with D and D. To be fair. You're making a channel. Maybe. He's making we'll a see. channel, definitely. Maybe. I'll make it happen. Oh, I've got stuff, stuff in, in my back. back. <laughs> yeah, good. Uh, they, they released Magic: The Gathering D and D collab cards. So I bought those the other day. They were quite cool. They were quite cool. Come on. Um, well, and and when are we going to play D and D on Xbox, Patrick Ma? Um, when I <laughs> actually really play it myself, because yeah. I haven't really played it myself, I'm totally honest. You've not really been on the Xbox a lot. I haven't really platform. had much. Ben's playing this time. really odd game called Man Eater, and it basically is like in like a dystopian future where there's like lots of nuclear waste, and you just turn into this like. Look, the the, the short of it is, shark. you play as a shark, you go around eating everything. It's yeah. like GTA, but you play as a shark instead. Um, but there's lots of kind of like references. Oh, it's amazing. There's like... so many stupid references. It's just a stupid, fun, silly game. It's like, um, if you can't think yeah. and you just want you something. You just want to tune out. Yeah. It's a great game to Depends. play. It's also awful to listen to because there's lots of awful noise to it. It's like chomp, chomp, chomp. And I'm it's like, amazing. Ah. I love it. I don't want to listen to shark chomping. Chris, Christian M hasn't forgotten to like the stream. Brickapix, don't forget to like the stream. Excellent. Of course. Ah, oh, JM is here. <laughs> Giving us a little wave there. Uh, Ministry of Making. Oh my God, why have we never used lecterns for instructions? I I'm completely sure, agree, I'm sure and I think you have, should. It's I, totally up I your street haven't. as well to do that. Yeah, I need to find like a cool antique one. Should we yeah. go antique shop hunting? <gasps> Guys, there's such good news. Um, I oh. can't I can't not talk about this. It's not Lego related. However, for those that kind of know me and that kind of been talking to me, I haven't been able to see my pen since March 2020. And I know I've mentioned it on the stream quite a few times because I kind of mention it when I say I haven't had the vintage Lego. But it was announced in the UK today that people that have been doubly vaccinated in Europe and the US are able to come to the UK and not have to quarantine, which is just, I can't really describe how amazing that is because it literally means that I'm gonna just, like, I'm gonna see my parents for the first time since March last, like, last year. And I, I'm not gonna, like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not, like, the closest to my parents ever, but, like, it's been oh, really yeah, hard. You still really like, want it's to see been them, really so. hard. Yeah. So they um, they're coming over as soon as they can. We haven't like finalized everything yet, but as it's standing, and I've read too many articles about it, it looks like they'll be able to just come over with mm. the car. So that means my vintage Lego is coming too. Um, but I'm so 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 excited, and um, but I kind of also kind of want to kind of kind of kind of kind of I kind of want to like protect myself a little bit because like. Covid has a tendency yeah, of like disappointing you, things. so um, I'm just kind of hopeful that it will actually go ahead. So I've just gave Harry the wrong so legs. So the woodshop teacher is here. Hey. Hello. Um, I've got the woodshop teacher sent me his um, like custom CMF, and he's right here. Look. Well, I know it doesn't focus. I know, really, I know, but so. I just thought I'd show you. Yeah. He's in the city. You need an auto focusing camera, really. One day. Um, One day. Oh, Louis Boyas. Hi, I'm new. Hello, Hello, welcome to welcome. the stream. Uh, is Forks doing well? Forks is doing very well. He's slowly gathering dust. Lord. He is, but he's in pride of place on my desk. <laughs> oh my gosh, I've got Slughorn. Look at him. Look. Oh, yeah. Look at his floppy hair. Ah. Are you good at man eater, Ben? Um, I am maxed out on man eater. So, you I'm know, a, take I'm that as you will. I'm maxed out on man eater. Um, Such skills. Yeah, but it's great when you get to Megalodon because then you could just smash everything. I thought you still needed to do the story in order to do this. I, yeah, but that doesn't mean my stats aren't maxed out. Oh, okay. Sorry. So, Apologies. How could I doubt you? Stats before story. Stats. Right? Stats before story. Sure. I know what you mean. James. Oh, wow. The pet shop looks great next to the ramen noodle shop. Tings. Yeah, I, um, I decided to put it there 
because I <laughs> wanted to um, move the bookshop that sat there before up to the third shelf because I want that to have uh, I want that to be next to the police station when I get that. So that's why I'm making some small changes. Patrick Marr thinks Man Eater sounds awesome and should check it out, and I agree that you should. Also, I can't um, help but like go. I'm a man. Eater. Yeah. Well, on the subject of that, um, brick a pick. Brick fix. Ben's playing a game called Man Eater. B Fab, <laughs> where are you? You need to hear this. To which I feel like that song perfectly led into that. Uh, <laughs> so Omega true. Man, LMAO. So true. Yeah, very true. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at, where you at man? Missing the gold. That's it. Anyways. <laughs> Elgo Collection. Lou could use a music stand. I have a mm. pink one from my violin and guitar playing days. We actually have the projector set up on a lectern. Oh yeah, but like yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a big a, one. Though. That's a freestanding lectern. Big. I don't think yeah. That's, that's an actual thing. lectern. An a when is it not an actual lectern? Well, when is it? Do you mean it's a posh, over the top, massive lectern? No, it's, it's like the most basic lectern you can possibly get. I think a more posh one would be the one that you would stand on just a table. Either that, or you just I, buy a normal I, lectern I, I, and then cut the top. We the used to off. have one from IKEA, yeah. but that wasn't ideal either. Bronx DDD, that's awesome. Must be exciting, and you'll get the Lego. Yay! It's funny actually because I bought that Lego in August last year. Well, I didn't obviously in person. I found it through Marked Plaids, and I, my mum went to pick it up. Um, and at the time when I bought it, I had like. I had like the burrow and um, the like room of requirements. Like so I had like two nothing. Or three sets and tops. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I bought it then, and then literally <laughs> the day like it's been nearly a year since I obviously bought it. So it, now I have no room to put it. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's gonna be really really fun going through it though, and just finding out what's in it. And I mean, don't worry, guys. There will be vlogs. There yeah. will be vlogs. <laughs> Christian M, that's amazing news. Uh, yeah. Oh, JM, can't tell if you're more excited for your parents or the vintage Lego. Both. I feel like. Wow, well, there you go. You <laughs> I heard feel it like here it's first. more appropriate to talk about yeah. the vintage Lego on this stream, though. And then Patrick asking how it is with all the uh, the cov over there. So you know, the stats stats aren't looking too great, but apparently nobody cares anymore. So. Um, so. It's fine. I had to. I was working from home today, and I had a bit of a COVID scare because my colleague messaged me to say that he was like felt ill overnight, and he was in the office yesterday just as me. And um, he took a lateral flow test, and he tested positive, <laughs> so he's gonna have to do a PCR test. Um, but luckily, I wasn't near him at all like yesterday, so it should be fine. Um, and I took a PC. Uh, I took a lateral flow test as well, and it was negative. So hopefully, it'll be fine. But it was literally that moment of like, oh my gosh, COVID is always just around the corner. Welcome, Golden Atlas. Uh, Hello. First time on your stream. Been watching your vids for a while. Oh, Great content. Thank you so much. Welcome to the welcome to the crew, the <laughs> stream crew. <laughs> Christian M is fault gathering dust, or is he gathering ashes? <laughs> Well, you can determine. What yeah, it is. that's it. It's the it's the same color. It's the same color. It's fine. So we'll go with ashes. It's just aging. Bentho, oh hello there. Well, hello Classic there. Classic Obi Wan everybody. entrance right there. Um, well, hello there. <laughs> yeah. Um, Heidi Toys. Yes. Did you watch Doctor Who? Like, just like in recently? general, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. Who's that? Is that was that minifigure? Bentho. Oh, Bentho. Um, yes, I did watch Doctor Who. It's been some time though. I watched Doctor Who um, back in the day, sort of, I don't know, seven or so years ago. But I watched it on demand as well. So like we da we illegally downloaded the, the internet is what I'm trying to say. So I watched... Yeah, it's um, on a live stream, it's brilliant, isn't it? <laughs> well, it's like super long ago in a different government, so I'm sure it's fine. Um, <laughs> so basically I watched like Christopher Eccleston, Doctor Who, and then David Tennant, and then Matt Smith, and then when Amy Pond, um, like Amy and mm. Arthur left, that's kind of where I was like, me. Now, now I'm saying. Fair enough. I watched a bit of the Clara one, and then obviously, um, I don't think I watched the last one with Matt Smith, but I did watch it, and I used, to, I was really into it at the time, mm. um, and I made, I got my sister into it a lot as well, so, you know. Tom and Tom, Tom and Games, uh, World on your hour is ilk in the UK. Uh, no, so my parents live. That was that was close enough that I could make out what you said. Well I'm, done. I, I'm glad. Well done. Um, so no, my parents live in the Netherlands, which is why it's been such a nightmare. So they um, travel just, though technically possible, 
they um they were still like quarantining both ways and i don't know i'm sure people have traveled in between and like evidently other people were fine with those rules but somehow when we checked the rules mm. that really wasn't possible yeah. so we've just kind of not been able to go there was a really brief time in july where i would have been able to go over or like late, or like august i think last year but at the time i'd just been made redundant so i was like desperately looking for jobs um so i had to kind of be here in case i got into interviews and then so i didn't go back and then it got locked down again yeah. <laughs> and that was it because they were meant to come over for my birthday last year and that got cancelled because of it and then it just took ages also i'm building the greenhouse and it's really cute hmm. and it's also really fun to have an actual official greenhouse because i've obviously built my you own did. Did and it's nice own. to have like it's a true. different one are you also already Lots boiling of, no i'm all right actually i'm so warm. lots of the pandemic is sucky um, yeah high tea yeah. high tea boys official now high tea boys yeah apparently it's, it's, it's now canon it's canon indeed that's uh, what i was gonna say <laughs> bento doctor who is amazing love eyes yeah i mean it's yeah, it's, it's a really cool. cool inspiration um the minifig who who i think is on the um on the stream if you see his name pop up he's got an amazing um instagram where he makes lots of doctor who um mocks and stuff <laughs> I thought that was appropriate. There is a behind uh, you. Here is the doctor. There is the Daleks. Ben. Ben. It's okay. It's fine. Ben. I gotta read comments. <laughs> you can find stuff if you ben, want. Ben, get me a tea, Ben. Um. Um. So, yeah. Well done if you got that reference. I'm sure you do if you're. Owen Jones in the house. I'm not oh, sure if you already. Yeah, he was here said, like pretty much straight away. Yeah. yeah, he's been. I've here. got the Lego Avengers Endgame final battle set. Should I build mm, it now? Yes. Can't decide. God, like, yes. Always yes. Yeah, if you ask so. me, the answer is probably Crackle. yes. <laughs> uh, Golden Atlas, uh, debating whether to buy the corner garage as it's already retired in the US. Oh, really? Wow. Ooh, yes, get it. I mean, I knew it was going to retire this year. Honestly, like, if you're... If you think you'd regret it and then want to purchase it, like, in a year time for, like, more mm -hmm. money, then get it now. <laughs> Definitely. And if you're not sure if you want it, like keep it sealed for a while because inevitably if it retires and you're like, actually, I don't really want it, you can sell it for like what you paid for it or more. Yeah. So you may as well get it now. Christian M. I, I wish I had a real greenhouse. <laughs> I mean, don't we all want yeah, it? Yeah, that'd be cool. I wish I had a real house. Yeah, that's true. We... Sure. This is, this is not our house. No, that's true, but it's still real. I mean, it is real. It's not a I mean, fabrication of your imagination. Oh, you, well, no, you're not real. Hologram. I'm as real as it gets. I'm a real boy. Have you guys ever played Lego Dimensions game? No. I haven't. I wasn't, I wasn't into Lego at the time that that was kind of like a current game. I know you could still play it if you have all the components to mm. it. It's just not being updated or something. Yeah. But no, I haven't. RDMK. I want some of the figures, though. BRX. Hi, all. Hello. Hello. The minifig who, thanks so much for the plug. No worries. Uh, Bento, what are your worst Lego sets? Or your, what is your least favorite Ooh. Lego set? Mine is J, Electro Mech from Ninjago, says Bento. Hmm. Like, do, do I need to own it in order to have it listed? Or is it just like existing in general? Let me know. Let yeah, me know what let, the parameters are and then I'll know. have a think. Let's know. What are the parameters? I must know the specifics. Uh, Tom and Games, the corner garage is probably going to retire end of next month. Should we go buy another one? Maybe. Kimberlyn Marshall, hello, late again. Hello, it's fine. Uh, You're Tom here. and Games, that that's the rumor at least. Yeah, the I mean, garage. I I mean, I was expecting it to retire eventually anyway, because like that's what's just the rumor's been for ages that it was going to retire this year. So. Blue is in the house. In the house. Sorry, that was a bit Ta weird. At, so, Golden Atlas, I'm tempted to wait for the Lego Ideas yacht in a few days. Ah, uh, yes, I think yes, that will yes. sell for a fair bit. I agree, I really want mm -hmm. it. It's oh, annoying, yeah. though, because I've already spent my August budget, so unless I can sell my brick bank, I actually haven't got the budget to buy anything to get that set, which You'll is You'll find annoying. it. Well, I need to, <laughs> I need to ge do. genuinely, I need to sell the brick bank. So that's on Facebook at the moment, so hopefully... Donald, Bonner. Find a new Donald nice Bonner has joined. Hi Hello. all, East Coast represent. Yeah, welcome. Good to have you here. Xanthic Dragon. Hello, I'm new here. Welcome well, to hello. Uh, guys, if you if this is your first stream, like put like a I don't know, like a one in, what do people do? Is it like a one in the chat for your first stream? 
I'd be I'd be curious because like a one in the chat. Yeah, it's just to see who's like here for the first time. One in the chat. Put a one in the chat. Look at me doing all the streamer stuff. Yeah, see, I've never heard that before. To be fair. How many uh, streams do you watch? None. I wonder why then. <laughs> <laughs> yes, fair. Hello everyone, spending more on that budget again, says Simon Moss. <laughs> it's fine, I, I just spent it in July, um, and now I need to sell the brick bank in order to have any for August. <laughs> Xanthic Dragon is hailing from Terrible. Pennsylvania, USA. Welcome, all across the pond. That's it. It is good to have you here. Bentho, oh. question for Ben, did you like Lego? As in, did I like Lego, or do I like Lego? I suppose... Do I like Lego? Um, I'm assuming he yes. was like back in the day. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, when I was a kid, I did like Lego. I was just never like super into collecting well, anything really. And then when I was a teenager, um, I was obsessed with Warhammer instead of anything else or overhead anything else. So, and as we all know, that is also a uh, load of plastic that is also worth far too much money. And you can spend Worth way too or much money. Costs. Uh, costs, yeah. I should say. So that's where my money went. So yeah, Lego's pretty cool. Um, but as a kid, I was far more into Warhammer than anything else. Well, as a teenager, when you had money to spend yeah, basically. on bigger things, yeah, yeah. You, you just yeah. bestowed it elsewhere. <laughs> we could say. Christian, Christian ha, you'll find it. Ben knows how this works. I do. Very well. Yeah. That's like, here we go again. Here we go again. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I love that you did a video once, what was it called? How I afford my Lego or something like that. How do I afford Lego? Yeah, that's the one. That wasn't actually the video, that was just, um, that was one of the questions I got asked in my, ah. my Q&A. Talking about Q&As, I, I, if you've seen the poll, because I'm reaching, like I'm getting close to 2k subscribers and close to my um, like one year YouTube anniversary, October 8th, of, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. August 8th, an exact month How before time my flies. birthday. Um, I'll probably do, I think at the moment, making a compilation of how my collection has grown and doing like a um, like a tips and tricks video um, are like pretty much neck and neck. So I'll probably make both. It's just that like making a compilation video is going to take like 500 mm. years in editing stage, but hey, it's so, going to probably be fun to look So back currently out. we only have one one in the chat, that is from Ministry of Making. Uh, uh, definitely he was lying. his first stream. <laughs> No, no idea who he is, never seen him before. No, never, no, no idea. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, budget is just a word. It doesn't apply to Lego. It's a vague concept. Though. Yeah, that's it. It is to you. No. Uh, the woodshop teacher. Oh, hello, Simon Moss. I have definitely been spending again. Was at the Lego store today. Way too much. But it's so much fun to go to the Lego store. Ben, is Fork sitting in your study? In, uh, in your study. In my study. Yes. I wish I had next a study. To your, next but to he your, is like, stood on my office desk. Yeah. Your golden arm, like your armchair and oh, your I'd so pipe. Love an armchair. My, and your board pipe. game table. You take me for a pipe type? I don't know. Am I feel I like you would. Yeah. I think you would actually. If you were to do anything, you'd do something that looks kind of cool. Yeah, that's true. I probably you wouldn't, would. you wouldn't go for like roll ups or anything. You'd be like, nah, oh, what's the point? What's the point of that? <laughs> I want to. I want to destroy my lungs in style, please. <laughs> It's gonna be smoking for me. Uh, don't smoke. Don't it's smoke. It's bad. Good. It's bad for you. Yeah. yeah, it's fine. <laughs> People know. They do. Oh, that's an interesting technique. It's not even attached. You just like pop it on. Like nice. This. Blop. <laughs> but, like mine is more like structurally sound. Plug in. Ha <laughs> ha! Adam Wilkinson, bruh. What? Adam uh, Wilkinson. Adam. Adam's here. I mean, I'm assuming. I mean, I am. Adam. I am assuming based on the bruh. So yeah. That is Adam. Well, you found my channel recently, yeah. so I'm, I'm going to need you to confirm yourself, Adam. <laughs> uh, everyone, everyone's helloing Adam. <laughs> um, how do I afford Lego? Well, beans on toast is nice. Not gonna lie, we because Ben's payday was on Tuesday. I've not been paid yet, but Ben's payday was on Tuesday. Um, we were eating soup and bread for three days in a row. Yeah, got to be done. It's just, so we could afford all that waiting. good loot. Just waiting for payday. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> uh, Omega Man, beans on toast, luxury. Isn't it just? I would agree with that, yeah, to be fair. Do you like so good beans funny. on toast? It's, I've, I've realised I missed a plate, that's why it was a bit more loose, so it's a fine. I've fixed it at How do I afford Lego? I only need one of my kidneys, right? <laughs> Technically, Sadly, yes. Wasn't it right? like when we had a look into... Why did you Why did you bring it up? I'm like, oh, kidneys really don't fetch very much. <laughs> yeah, actually, that's like, true. I think we looked it up, it's like 100 quid. <laughs> 
Look. Like, great, it's not yeah. going to buy me anything. Uh, ben Poe. Sell, Did you like Ninjago? This theme is my favourite. I love it so much. I do. I mean, I like the Ninjago modulars. They are my most wanted. I was literally just going to say that. My most wanted set right now is Ninjago City, like the city mm. one. I found one um, for like. I feel like I want like three hundred or something. I probably spent on it because I nearly like on maybe, what. Ninjago City, so not like yeah. like the gardens, but like the original. I've shown it to you like twenty times. Yeah, you have. Um, I really want that. Like, oh, the, I just want it. I just want it. It's very expensive though. Why do I keep? How do I have this many bricks left over? Like, how am I this blind? Not gonna lie, already, like, fudging up. Uh, study on the porcelain throne. Yeah. Um, sent many an email from the older, uh, yeah, the old Dunny. What? So yeah, look. If you know, you know. Uh, <laughs> Patrick Ma, Legos are so expensive. Yeah, yeah, they, really are. they are. Adam Wilkinson, nah, not me. <laughs> well, yeah, so um, guess we know who it is then. Absolutely. So that Sorry. would that would be my uh, my brother. Brother. In the house. We need to have a quick look to see if we can find what I've missed out on because I feel like I've made a mistake somehow already. Oh, you probably have. Because I need um this one bit. Like one by one tile, a plate, sorry, in like moss green needs to go somewhere. But I don't <laughs> know where. What? Ministry of Makers, like Shared yuck, group. smoking. <laughs> uh, and then Bentho, Bentho agrees. It's like, please don't smoke. Not good for your people. No. Wow, James. So we've turned James. into a PSA channel. <laughs> I just gave Brightest Witch time. Bricks. Hello, Hello guys. How are you doing? Welcome. <laughs> Patrick Ma, you should get the lep in Ninjago City. Uh, yeah. I feel like was... there's just been a, a tumbleweed through this joint. I feel like that would just joint. be a journey of disappointment that we would all go on together. No, I, I genuinely want it then. We've all done Kimball and Marshall, we've all done toast and things in tins, <laughs> but you get through it. <laughs> I think my lowest food point has just been literally drinking cold soup from a tin. That's ugh. Ugh. Yeah, just well, the texture. That's just like, like tomato juice, just thicker. <laughs> not, <laughs> you're really not selling that to me <laughs> at all. I had Ninjago City, amazing set. Just wish it. Just wish I was more of a fan of Ninjago to enjoy the features. And that was uh, Golden Atlas. One minute. I'll reply in a minute. Ah. Yeah. Loud. So, I'm not. I've not watched a lot of Ninjago, I don't know any of the like references per se, but I love those sets, they're just so cool. Ooh, Lavender Brown in the house. Owen Jones, I've definitely gone three days with just soup and bread, maybe more than yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, it was different when I, like, before we were together, I feel like, if you're just single, very often you're like, ah, oh, yeah. well, why would I bother cooking a whole meal? But when you're together, you're like, that's kind of just a thing you do together, so you kind of feel like you should. Mm -hmm. Brick picks. Um, I don't agree, Patrick Ma, it's all relative. For instance, I have mm. acquaintances who will go out and spend a hundred pounds on a drink on a night out on drink on nights out. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, like Lego is really expensive in this in like just a money term, but then depending on like what your budget is yeah. and like where your priorities lie, like if we wanted to, instead of by like doing this, we could just go out for lots of meals. But then you don't have anything at the end of it. That's so. true. To increase apart from a headache. To, to increase the budget. Oh! Oh, thank you, Thank Brick you very Picks. much, Bricker Picks. Star Dance. Says Star Dance. For, for beans, not soup. <laughs> <laughs> I do like good beans. And also, to increase the budget of Lego, there's always roadkill for lunch. <laughs> I mean, there's not too much. There's actually a fair amount of it around there here. There's a lot of roadkill I would that say, I don't touch I would say let's dodge pole. hedgehogs. It's too spiky. Um, we could always eat the bin badger. What have you done to him? That thing's ravenous. Why? Why? Ravenous. And it's a pain. I feel like you need to explain the bin oh, badger. Oh, the bin badger. I mean, it hasn't been for a while, to be fair. He's just legendary at this point. He's legendary. He used to come around and just ravage our bins at night. Waking us up, Waking us way, up at like three in the morning, and there's been multiple occasions that I've had to chase it off with a brush. Yes, that is right. Ben in his dressing gown with a brush going like, go away! Like three in the morning, just like <laughs> slapping it on the ground. Like, yeah, I hear you. Totally not our behaviour. Oh, I think Nothing so. Nothing to worry about. Um, and that's not to, and that's not even to talk about Bin Dog, who does the same thing in the day and cannot be discouraged with brushes. 
Yeah, so we were like, we thought that the bin badger had been, and then like, we talked to our neighbour like the following day, and they're like, oh my god, was it, was it your bin that like, our dog ate, and at the time we didn't we know like, the name of the dog, so it's now been dubbed Bin Dog. <laughs> so, yeah, so there is still a dog that lives basically just across the road from us that is called Bin Dog. Um, but yeah, so that's brilliant. Uh, anyway, roadkill. It's actually called Ruben, by Probably the way. not the no, it's called Bin Dog. But he's been down now. There we go. Getting on with my figures. Minis I really like the figures in this set. Ministry of Making is just teasing people. <laughs> As he does Sounds well. about right. Yeah. Absolutely. The one and only. Right. Share with the group. I can't read your mind. You need to tell me what's happening in the chat. I am. It's literally what I'm reading. You were just laughing at something. No, I was laughing at you. Well, I'm like, because I'm such a silly goose. You are but a silly we goose, found so you should go and get in the pond. Ben, yeah, Honk. we found... Who mentioned the foul word lepin? Lepin. Good lord. Ben, um... Oh, Clever Dad in the house. Hello. Hi, Clever Dad. Um, Ministry of Making. Ben's brother, Adam, this is directly addressed to you. Please <laughs> give Johanna the Lord of the Rings set. <laughs> I do believe he means the Tower of Orthanc. Yeah. So Adam, you've heard it here, all right? You've been beseeched by beseeched. the chat uh, to hand over your Tower of Orthanc. Hand um, over the keys. Please. Um, and you may go in peace. It's fine. You can take Grima with you That's if you it. really like. I, uh, uh, Xanthic Dragon, do you like the video line? So I, I actually quite like the figure design. I really liked the second wave of figures, which I don't know if it's coming out now because obviously it's been like put on pause. Mm. But I really like some of the figures, definitely. But I don't think I'd ever have spent the money on like the sets just because I felt like because there was like a, a digital game with it, the prices of the sets were like quite high. Yeah. And I just wouldn't have spent it for them. But I would have loved to have the whole video figure line because they do look really funky and I like the printed towels they come with. So it's a bit of like a not really. <laughs> Not for the full oh, price. Christian M, I gave Lepin three shots at some point. Wow. It just went downhill. I was going to say, that's quite... Well, that's probably... That is an intrepid really, dive, to yeah, be fair. Yeah, I was going to say, that's quite a lot of dedication to give. Patrick Ma, will Ben do another live build? Ben will do another live build when Ben has recovered from Ben's <laughs> last live build. <laughs> and there's mentally, no telling how long. Mentally recovered. <laughs> Um, that was quite difficult, wasn't it, Ben? Was yeah. that quite stressful? It was stressful for me. <laughs> it was really stressful for me. Even though Lego got instructions, I find it hard, man. Like you were under, you were being watched by professionals. To be fair, quite. That's it, and they tried to outcompete me. <laughs> I felt the, I felt the pressure. Gary. LL just joined. What are your next purchasing plans? So modular, maybe. So basically. I've bought something during double VIP week, but I've spent my August budget on it, which is why I haven't got any August budget anymore. What? That, what? That's insane. Here is to eating more healthy from Gianni. <laughs> oh, bless you. Thank uh, you so much. Wow. Thank um, you so much. So basically I've spent my whole August budget already on like a set during double VIP week. Um, so I will reveal what that is in a video in like a week or so when it's August. It's basically since it's been delivered It's just sat in a corner like I haven't touched it because I was like no this is my August budget I'm not opening till August. You can see sweat dripping down her face when she looks in that corner it's, oh, I'm like I want it um, It's just the the, uh, the resistance is there. It's like that. It's like that meme of the guy who's just straining So like, yeah, I want it. But anyway, it's fine. It's in the house. It's safe. It will be opened eventually but I haven't really got any other plans at the moment. There is quite a lot of stuff I want. I would really, really like the blacksmith, to be honest. That's one of my, like, my main things that I want. I also would like the Disney castle, but I would prefer a second Diagon Alley. But the issue is I'm a bit worried that maybe the Disney castle is going to retire at some mm. point. And I don't really want to miss out because I reckon it's going to go up in price. So not sure what to do there. If anybody has any advice, do share. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not... I think the, if I get money, I'll probably get a blacksmith because that's the one I've been going on about for quite a long time. Yeah, that's it's it. just so cool. And it's a nice set. It's a very yeah. nice set. Yes, and but I pre ordered. You know what? I actually really like that one. I pre ordered that um, castle one from the Brickling mm. thing. Um, I, I pre ordered it because I was like, it's fine, the money's not coming out till January, so it's not an issue. <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, so I'm saving up for that monthly yeah, as well. Yeah, that's it. So, Elgo Collection, we love food too much. 
You can't love food too much. We quite. I actually like don't think food. you can. I very much enjoy my food. We do quite like um, food. If I didn't do regular activity, I would be large. Uh, there you go. So. It's, uh, uh, yeah, but you like, like greasy pizza. I do. Stuff. I'm like, a sucker for it. Uh, Ninjago City Gardens is the best surprise for ten years of Ninjago. Well, so. Sydney Gardens is fantastic, honestly. It's well, amazing. On that it. subject, but Patrick Marr can't wait for the Ninjago Water Dragon. Oh, that set does look really, really good. And also, the really exciting, sort of like very big rumour is that there's going to be like a much smaller modular Ninjago modular coming next year. But hopefully, that will attach to the City Gardens. So yeah. that would be really, really cool. We are so far behind in the chat. Oh my god. You should. I am going fast, but you keep talking about stuff, and Sorry. so that's important. Just like shout out a bit. No, that's then... fine. You can, keep up, you can keep up your spiel, but we will be a little bit behind on the chat. That's fine. Uh, the mini fiku, pasta bake, last days, bag of pasta, sauce, and grated cheese. Absolutely. Brickstery, hello. Bees here. Well, I thought Brickstery was here anyway. But yeah, I saw her earlier. Oh well. Oh, Brick Street. No, Brick of Picks. I think. No, Brick Story. Brick Street. There. Yeah, no, Brick but Street. like we saw Brick of Picks was there anyway. Ah, Brick of Picks was here too. Both I'm time. sure. Yeah. <laughs> Bin dog, skip rat. Brick Street. We have them all. It's just a skip rat. <laughs> the woodshop teacher, please, Ben, don't eat badgers. They taste awful. But hedgehogs can be cooked in clay over a fire. Wow. I actually you appreciate that somehow, advice to be Somehow honest. I'm not surprised. I can imagine that badgers do taste like absolute crap, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. They must be quite Especially bad. bin badgers, because they just eat crap. And so I suppose you <laughs> take on the taste of what you eat. Um, you are what they eat. You are what you eat, is what they say. That's what they say. Uh, yeah, so Brickstery in the um, house. Christian M, to all those here that are poor like me, macaroni and cheese is a solution. Mm. And you could also use it raw and pretend it's Lego pieces. That is a stretch, I feel. Wait, I'm, I've done something wrong. Oh no, it's fine. Again. I'm going to continue with comments. Rick Butterfield. Hello. Hi. Hi. What do you think about a build of one of one one oh one nine one Market Street? 10191 Market Street. I'm not going to pretend to know I know what that is. Is that the blue modular? Or is that like a reference to mm, like a to show? something cool, yeah. Let me know, I because I don't know what you mean at the moment. I apologise if I let you down. I will <laughs> I will do better. Simon Moss, I've got this set in my backlog. I'm not sure whether that's referring okay. to the, the 10191 Market Street or this. I'm a, yeah, I'm, a, but I'm assuming this. Oh, so 10191 is, a, is the set number I'm assuming. So it's probably that blue one, like the blue modular that I had when I, way back when I made like my most wanted to retire set video. I listed that one as one of the ones that I really wanted. So. Yeah. I think it's that one. I would love that one. I think it's aging though. Okay, it's... so Tower of All Thank is amazing. Adam, do it. No, he's, he, Adam's got the, the joy of looking at it every. Yeah, Actually, but you know. When I was down in uh, when I was down in Cornwall last with you guys, I um we went upstairs to the attic and kind of went through the lego and i delved out the end and i cleaned the whole end so the end could sit next to the all thank again because apparently it turns out adam prefers um wants Sarah, Sarah man to win because the ends weren't even there yet that's very true so um have you seen the new marvel cmf they look awesome yes they yeah they cool, look, to be fair. i mean i'm not a marvel fan necessarily but they look awesome i need like three of the peggies because i need her victory roll hairstyle also monica i love her hair like her hair and her face are awesome also because her face would be perfect for like an angelina johnson costume so <laughs> Um, Very um, poor Ben, we've traumatised him. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Maybe. Terrifying, terrifying, really. You're um, all really brick intimidating. Picks. Ben, when, when you do your live build, tell me which set so I can buy the same and start two hours after you and we can race. That's literally... <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're bringing back my recurring trauma. This is when Ben's like eye starts twitching. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I'm going to need some serious practice. Uh, yeah, so well, how can we make sure you'll get practice? You can buy me Lego yeah. and I can build it. Yeah. Um, no. That wasn't what I was aiming for. <laughs> I think that'd be a wonderful idea. Uh, you say that you'd like it Gianni, to have... Gianni Burgundy, you're welcome, guys. <laughs> oh man, we're so behind in the chat. We are so behind. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm glad if you use it for Lego as well, of course. <laughs> See, this is and the hello, entrance. hello, everyone. Why, right, hello. <laughs> we are so behind. Oh, my goodness. Yes, the Blacksmith and Disney Castle is so awesome. Mm -hmm. Get the Disney Castle. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Bentho, goodbye, chat. Goodbye, Bentho. He's probably gone, like, yeah, for probably. a half an hour. <laughs> Omega, Omega Man, you're going to make... Brick a picture, you're going to make Ben cry. Yeah, I can feel myself tearing up just reading these comments, I'm totally honest. Um, <laughs> The blacksmith is amazing. I enjoyed building it so much. Mm, it looks so good. There seems to be some serious competition here between the blacksmith and Disney Castle. Yeah, but they're Brick's very three, different. Than... You have to buy the Disney Castle. No, but it's three hundred pounds. That's a whopper. <laughs> like um, it's always just just too much. I feel like I've I've acclimatized myself to buying two hundred pound sets, like just below two hundred, but Disney like three hundred. Well, just... Disney Castle is worth is a beautiful display piece and will be worth a lot once it retires. I know. Brickstory. I oh know. yes, also by the blacksmith. I want it all, guys. Money, money, money. So. What are um, the rumors of the Home Alone house? Are you interested in that? I'm again not a massive Home Alone fan, but if it's a cool building that I may be interested, I'm assuming it's just going to be a facade, a bit like Sesame Street with an open back, but I, as you know, I love buildings, so if it's a good facade and it's interesting details on the inside, then I'll definitely consider that because it's going to be both a really fun Christmas build as well as like, mm. it, you could make it into a proper modular, like make it bigger. So if it's like mockable and has cool details, I'll probably consider yeah. it. Yeah. Pretty good answer, I think. Yeah. Uh, doo -doo -doo. You should consider getting the Daily Bugle. It would look great in your city as a skyscraper. I mean, it would. <laughs> With yeah. what money? <laughs> and what space, actually. Yeah, so the Disney Castle is one of those ones as well that, like, it's not only just a lot of money. I he said Daily Bugle. Genuinely don't know where to display it, but then the da Daily Bugle would sit in with the city quite well and it would, like, blend in as a modular. Topic Bricks. Hello. Hey, Rosie, how you doing? So, um, basically, what's happening, if my parents are definitely able to come next week, they're bringing a shelf for on top of the wardrobe behind me <laughs> and then my Hogwarts castle is going to move on top so. of that wardrobe and then my city is going to be able to expand on top of the Calyx unit which is going to be useful for like the blacksmith which I'm going to try and integrate. However, there is currently about seven sets that sit on top of the wardrobe that I also don't have any space for anywhere else. So I'm going to have to rethink what I'm doing. Maybe I'll break some down. I don't mm. know yet because I have got like the, um, the winter skating promo built and I don't really feel like that needs to be built because it doesn't really integrate anywhere in the city. Fair enough. So. Have you thought about getting Lego art? I have the Marilyn Monroe to build. Really want mm. the world map too. So I don't really think I'd use it a lot or like display it anywhere. It's not It's not really the type of stuff we normally put on the wall. I f again, I probably would have considered it if the Hogwarts, like Harry Potter stuff had been nicer, but I'm not that interested. So at the moment, everything that's out like officially isn't really my thing. Uh, uh, Rick Butterfield, sorry, it's 10190. I have the PDF instructions and parts, but it's a lot of bricks. But it sells for fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, I know it's insane because it was limited release as well. And um, I think it looks for. I think a lot of people part it out in mm, order probably. to build it. Um, it used to be on my most wanted list. Um, if you go all the way back to my old videos, I did a like top ten most wanted retired set video. Um, which is, has, you know, it was mm. like a different style, but I was trying, I was just joining YouTube, so I was just trying to see what I wanted to do. And that was on it, but mm. I don't think it is on it anymore because the money it costs yeah. probably wouldn't be worth it to me. If I ever caught up with all the sets currently on the shelves and like I had to only go into retirement, like I probably would consider it. For donations, should we not be putting things on this blue board? Oh yeah, oh yeah, good point. Um, was it, you was it Gianni? Got, it was Gianni. Gianni yeah, we, what, ha we actually had two. What stud do you want? You, yeah, well, you, you, get, you get a stud, stud on the, the board. board. Can't see it that far up. I know, but you can see it in those fuzzy colours there. So what stud would you like? And I'll add it to it. What colour would you who like? Who else, who else did one? Um, we did it. We up. got one from Bronx. One of them for like beans on toast. Ah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> I think it's pretty clear that the blacksmith and the castle are awesome. Yeah, I, yes. I mean... Clever dad. A whopper doesn't cost that much. Agreed. <laughs> um, Brick story. The HP sets, are you destroying them to build mocks? Or are you making them all as they are? Or are you making them all as they are? So Maybe I, make some modifications. Ooh, did I use the word quick stick there? One minute. Woodshop teacher agrees on the world map. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that one. So I have... 
at the moment got them all well actually i've got a modified hogwarts great hall because i modified it obviously on video um so this is a good time to say on saturday coming the 31st harry potter's birthday we're going to be doing a big harry potter live stream where you know just to celebrate that mm. and to kind of like celebrate near enough like my um youtube anniversary um, well, we. Ben's at work, so I, <laughs> I will be work. streaming and mocking. Um, so I'm going to try and set it up so people can actually see what I'm doing more. And it's going to possibly be relatively slow going because I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do. But that, in that stream, I'm going to be building the second set that I bought, you know, the second Chamber of Secrets. And I'm going to change, uh, be changing their interiors because what I'm trying to do is build sort of like a dollhouse style um, Hogwarts castle in my display cabinet, so like long lengthwise, mm. in order to kind of create more scenes within, because I just want to kind of integrate more of the Harry Potter characters and more moments in the books, which is going to be like definitely not finished in that live stream, but it's going to be like a slow process. So if you want to join me for that, I don't know exactly when it's going to be starting, it's going to probably be starting like midday UK time ish. And it's just going to be on a Saturday, so if you want to pop in for like half an hour, for an hour or so, just come say hi, do that would be really fun. So that's kind of the plan for. Um, Saturday, which is why I'm building the astronomy tower now because I'm possibly going to be using some of the features and interiors in the mock But it's gonna be very much like a figure out as I build so yeah, that's it. Who knows what's gonna happen? Anyway, cheese on top 17. Blacksmith is my next buy after a few PF the Star Wars sets Ah, uh, yes! A few of the Star Wars sets. The new ones coming out. Anyway, hello cheese on top. Uh, Teal Bricks in Paradisa. Hi Ben and Johanna. Hello. Feeding my face and enjoying the stream. Hello. Hello, hello. AV Bricks, good evening both and all in chat. Oh, hi Ellen. Clever Dad is trolling. Um, <laughs> Kimberlyn Marshall, the blacksmith is less expensive and beautiful. RDMDKBRX, definitely getting the Seinfeld set, some Marvel CMFs, and maybe the newest Thanos big fig if the price mm, is right. Mm, mm, yeah, that is a cool one. Same wife, Julia. Hello, would you recommend buying the Greater Hall now before it retires? Or are the newer sets more worthwhile? So I like both. I think you can definitely make a castle integrated with both. If you want a nice looking great hall, I feel the parts in the great hall set, like the old one which is retiring, are better. So, um, because there is obviously a great hall in the, in the new Chamber of Secrets, but it's much, much smaller. So what I've done with my great hall is I've actually got two sets and I put them together so it's like even taller. But um, it kind of depends what you want to do display-wise. I just think if you're interested in exteriors, mm. get the older sets. If you're interested in the interiors, get the newer one. And if you'd like to merge them, then get them all. Clever Dad. Oh, talking about space, I heard there was a possibility to move the master bedroom to become the Lego room. <laughs> Don't em try it. Emily has done it. You know, Emily and Roz from Emisaurus. Oh, yeah. They've, um, they've recently been like, yeah, we're changing our Lego room. Um, we're, we're putting it into the master bedroom <laughs> and somebody and I've been talking about it on the stream and I was like Imagine Ben's face if I told him that we're gonna use the master bedroom as the Lego room <laughs> Our bed wouldn't even fit in this room. I feel like I feel I'd like be ha I'd be actually happy enough for you to do that to be honest as long as uh, we could move the bed back downstairs And I could have my little fort again mm. <laughs> hey, that's the compromise. Uh, we can't. We can't I have issued my demands. I'm not putting the bedroom in the living room. I liked it. It was great. Yeah, right next reckon, to my projector. It I reckon was the novelty will wear off pretty quickly when you wake up and the postman walks past the window. Look, that's a treat for the postman. <laughs> Captain Zan. Hey, everyone. Just dropping by to leave a like and say hi. Oh, thanks so, so much, hi. Captain Zan. I really appreciate you. Um, the woodshop teacher got the got the blacksmith today with two sets Ooh. of the three-in-one castle. Oh, I'm going nice. to do a 48 by 48 castle as a tourist attraction in my city. Honestly, if I had the room, I would. I really want to add a castle. So because I've got the castle from the um, from the Brickling stuff coming, like somewhere in January, February, whenever they ship, um, there is a possibility I'll have one eventually because I feel like it could sit on like a little rock. Anyway. Huge yeah. plans, more Captain money. Captain Zan, Ong, the, may, the membership options are adorable. <laughs> Thanks, I tried. Rosie helped me quite a lot as well, I just really appreciate that. <laughs> Tea and cake. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Patrick Matt, the Harry Potter Lego art should fit with all your Harry Potter stuff. Yeah. Oh, Brecker Picks, thanks for the reminder. Don't forget to like the live stream, guys. Right. Did did anybody wow, come so back to you? Yeah, on, like, so we're what? getting there. Uh, Hold your horses. I'm still like that behind. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> da, 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 da. Gianni, here we go. I did not see it well. 
Didn't think so. Ben, pick one for me. You have my trust. Ooh. I will. I will. Uh, I will do it. Do, you want to do it. Do we have? Will you, you go looking for this. Well, you tell me what colour you'd like. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the pick one in a minute. The drawer doesn't open though, so I can't really get it out. Patrick Ma, do I get a stud too? Since I started donating since before you have the blue board. Yeah, sure. Why not? Homer Simpson plays mobile games. Hi, I'm new. That is a very specific name. <laughs> Um, and welcome to you. Which one do you want then? All right. You can choose. You know what? I quite like what we got up there. Oh, we got our beer. Let's go for, you know, it's gonna be go a golden piece. donation. It deserves a, a golden, a golden for, brick. That was for who? Gianni. Gianni, yours is on the start, on the board. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was brick a pick. She donated. It was brick a picks. Yeah. So, what, what, what do you want up there, brick a picks? Uh, da, 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 da. Tom and Games. Oh, I just scrolled so far down. I'm going to go back up again. Oh my god. It's coming together. Yeah, yeah. It's coming together. It's so warm. Anyway. Uh, Tom and Games. Did you mean 10190, the factory modular? One of the first ones at Rick Butterfield. I'm assuming no, yeah. that's what he means, right? The one, the blue one. <laughs> Bricker picks. Twas I that donated. Twas I. Yes, yeah, I've just remembered. I'll have a purple cheese wedge if you have one. A purple cheese wedge. Please. Why did you give it a weird voice? Or a clip and a carrot. Very profound. Very profound. Very if profound. I donated, I'd ask for like a toad got there or something. The they're single. They're wedge. single pieces, aren't they? Did she say purple cheese? Purple wedge? cheese wedge. I only have. I only have a. Pink cheese. We have wedge. we have pink cheese wedges. Yeah. There's a there's a pink one. It's like a dark pink. Simon Moss, my youngest son's got the Market Street modular set. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's what that was. Uh, was Homer saying. Simpson plays mobile games. I bought two Lego popcorn cart poly bags today for ten p. Nice. Yeah, not bad. God, That's imagine a pretty, that. Pretty pretty good bargain. Just for the mini mini figure alone, it's worth it. I've got one, but it wasn't ten feet. Why do I always nearly throw those dead oh, things? Oh, they are so dangerous for you. So close. You're like a cat, oh, armed yeah. and dangerous. Sure. Uh, That's right, people. Stay away from me. I'm armed <coughs> and dangerous. You heard it here first. That's it. It got them from B and M. For ten so, p. So they go worth a look. I, I mean, I bought mine from B and M as well, but like. How yeah, long ago? And we've been in like ago. three BNMs recently just to see if they had deals and they hadn't. So Yeah, so they just don't picks, like us. I got some of mine but for two ninety nine. Yeah, I think that's why I paid. Yeah. Needed wheels for the butterbeer cart. Blacksmith is mm. currently on offer at John Lewis from LL. I know, I know. It's been on offer mm. for ages and it's really painful because I wanted, but I again, no budget, so that will be that will happen eventually. <laughs> Lots of lots of people um, just commenting on the absurdity of that 10p purchase, know, which is insane. you know pretty pretty good, pretty good find. Insanity. Abby the brick squirrel. Hey Abby. Sorry I'm late. No brick worry. squirrel was trapped in Walmart by a giant thunderstorm. Oh no. How tumultuous. That sounds like a big adventure though. Ben, for whenever the time comes, what would you be interested in building? <laughs> if if money was no object, uh -huh. the thing that I would build, and and if time was no object, because it would take me a long time, no. I would actually long build the Benathar, because Ooh. that thing is so cool. Yeah, it's a. I mean, it's a, a, a it's display. A very it's a very cool set. Yeah. Um, but the chances are it will not be that, and it will be something smaller and more time efficient. But we could. You don't have to build it all in one go. Like you could build it over a few streams. Yeah, but it's, again, it's the whole thing of purchasing it, isn't it? We'll, we'll, we'll get there, I'm sure. It is really nice. I did look, you should totally get what, it. What else did I look at recently to have a have a look at building? I quite Jurassic like Park. the new three-in-one uh, thing that includes the toad and the crocodile. <laughs> yeah, the crocodile <laughs> one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I do quite like that. Um, Captain Dan, I did pick up the Duplo Unicorn train for four pounds and regret nothing. Nice. <laughs> Uh, for four pounds, like how yeah, can not you not? Bad, like, I probably would have. Like Ben, can I buy this? You're like, why? Because it's cute. It's cute. To be fair, I very nearly bought that lizard oh, from look. Frozen once. There's a little like oh, bug on it, like a blue bug. Oh, cool. I I, I would show you, but yeah. like you just see blue blood. 
Blue blob. Blue blob. Blue blob. Blue blob. Blue blob. Blue blob. Sometimes I wonder why people watch it as go. Brooke a pink said no pink. No pink. No pink. So you better take it off. But I haven't got anything purple. Yeah, well, it might change your mind. What have you got? What do you want? Red if no purple, please. Oh, okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, that's fine. I have red. That's what we'll do. I have dark red. That's probably closest. There we go. Red is on. Here Get first, on. armed and dangerous. Someone told me that on Twitter the other day. I'd like to know who. Do you That's, even have Twitter? No. Oh, fair enough. I don't like Twitter. Twitter is scary. Well, I'll leave you guys. So good to spend an hour with you. Yeah, I'll wait 20 minutes here. so you can leave the message and I'll leave. <laughs> On the money, sir. <laughs> On the money. Hopefully we've got around to you before you've uh, packed your bags and yeah. left. Thanks so um, much for being there you go. here. I really appreciate it. Um, Tom and Games. Another expensive modular is the Ghostbusters Firehouse. It's oh, close to a thousand yeah. euros right now. Wow. So it's really beautiful though. It's very pretty. Random bees and wasps topic yesterday. Unicorn trains today. Seems about right. Yeah, I think so. Uh, they went 399 to 299 to 99p to 10p. I think B&M hate Lego popcorn carts and need them gone. I feel like they have a lot. Yeah, yeah. probably. Yeah. If they still have them, they must have had them in stock for like a mm. year. Yeah. Anyway, if it. you find more, shit, send them my way. Like. I'll happily pay 10p for a Lego car. Ben, have you ever tried scale modelling, such as ships and planes, etc.? Um, not for pre-existing planes and ships and that kind of thing, but like you I said, Warhammer, Warhammer, yes. Lots and lots and lots of Warhammer. Uh, so that, that was pretty cool. And I did have... The biggest Warhammer model I ever built was um, one of the old Forge World Necron pylons. That was pretty cool. Um, that was like but, me? Yeah, that, that, was, that was pretty sweet. But yeah, I was mainly pl I was mainly collecting um, Tyranids at the time, and then Necrons after that. I don't know. I just like all the skeleton Sorry, I caught her. dinosaur evil things. I don't know. They're pretty cool. Um, and I actually do have some D and D minis to paint. So we'll, yeah. we'll see. What? How long have you been having them for, to paint for? Uh, two days. I bought them on the weekend. Oh, D and D ones. Yeah. yeah. Da, da, da. It's coming I've together. Built it so far. So pretty. I quite like it so far, actually. I think the base plate for the greenhouse shouldn't have been this bright green because it's way too, <laughs> it's way too in your face. It's like hello. Xanthic dragon. Ben can handle the popcorn cart. I we actually made popcorn the other day at the kernel. And then I ate oh, it was whilst so watching fun. you. Mm. You you made it, didn't you, Ben? Yep. And then I ate it. Yeah, you did eat it. Most of it. You're and ravenous forgot beast. To, and then I forgot to cover it for the night and I didn't yeah. throw it away in the morning because it was soggy. Matthew Kolakowski. My wife heard Johanna speaking from the other room and asked if she's the expert builder judge from the Lego Masters TV show. I wish. Here in the US. I wish I was. She's yeah. Irish, I think, actually. Amy. I think she might be Irish. Yeah. Irish. But then James keeps saying that I've got an Irish twang. twang yeah. People do say that about you, actually. People do see that about you, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. They do um, see that. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to, you don't have to run, Ben. You should take your time and enjoy the building process. Otherwise, you're doing it wrong. Hashtag do you even Lego? <laughs> I mean, not really, but you know, yeah, we'll get there. Homer Simpson, what does B and M you stand for? We'll I live in that. the USA. B and M, British. What does B and M stand for? Yeah, what does B&M stand for? Um, yeah, because I was thinking like British Home Store, but I was like, no, that was BHS. BHS, yeah. <laughs> Which, what is B&M? Fuck. I don't know. Binging, nomming, murdering. We'll go with that. Bargains. <laughs> Bargains. And. Nosh. Mosh. It's an M for Mike. No. <laughs> Bargains, no, no, can't nosh Mike. <laughs> Good lord, <laughs> Johanna, how dare you? What the hell? Um, Sometimes I just don't know what to do. You well, know. you started it. Kimball and Marshall, it's a dragonfly. I presume we're talking about that I little I reckon the answer group. is going to be in the comments in like yeah, 10 minutes. Yeah, we'll, we'll find it. Uh, we have a subscriber. Thank oh. you for subscribing, Laura Franken. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't. That didn't pop up on the screen. No, it didn't. Okay. So, any, any subscribers, we will get there. We will see you. Um, <laughs> Bronx DDT, welcome. Um, 
Look at this cute chandelier. Mr. Squirrel apologised for not tuning in before I got home. He was watching old videos and didn't know you were live. It's okay. It's all good. Look, um, it has a really nice chandelier. I don't know if you can see. Whoa! Well, something fell off. And while it did, uh, Homer Simpson plays mobile games. I have no money for modulars, but I can afford duplicates of a 43-piece popcorn cart poly bag. <laughs> yeah. Ball him. Ab oh, Abby the Brick Squirrel. Team Necron. Yeah, I feel that. Love it. <laughs> also Team Tyranid. Yeah, I feel we're kindred spirits on this front. It's all about it's all about the monstrous beasties. Monstrous beasties. Monstrous beasties. That's a technical term, guys. That is absolutely. Don't feel too intimidated. Of, of which the Catan count, of course. Um do, 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 do. The Woodshop Teacher. Ben, I need to invite you once I start doing live stream figure painting sessions. Yes, you do. Yeah, that, that'll be a great yes, leveler do. for anybody watching you that's like just a beginner, isn't it, Ben? Me? Oh, God, yeah. If you're a beginner and you want to get into painting anything, come along You've... and watch me paint because I am tragic. So, you know, and I'm putting out there for the world to see. But look, you've got to start somewhere to get better. I feel like and if I don't start, Adam, I won't. your brother's really good at it. Okay, so my brother is an absolute genius with a paintbrush. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and then there's me. It was yeah, yeah. So you know, you're, you're. I'm just saying this. This is a, this is a running joke. I'm not that mean, but your your art level is kind of stuck at four year olds. Yeah, like it's kind just of never really progressed from that. I feel like if you gave a toad a paintbrush and just <laughs> let it loose, it would be similar results. That would be a, that would be a fantastic live stream day. Like Ben versus Toad. <laughs> I'd watch it. Where are we gonna get a toad from? I feel like that would be. We'd have to get a mechanical one. Otherwise, we'd get like animal cruelty on our heads. Yeah, maybe. And it's it depends like, if it was, it was willing or not. It was expressing itself like... Yeah, through artistic form. Artist artistically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> we digress. Uh, Omega Man. Ben's saying lots of words. The chat in total confusion. Yeah. Yep, my specialty. Bringing How I chaos feel. to the uh, IT the toys chat. <laughs> um, the side build and for... I'm guessing, is that turrets? Because that has come up as Tourette's were my favourite part of the astronomy tower set. That's definitely turrets. So far, I'm really liking this build. I, I'm just dreading like getting to the bit where we, there is the ugly, um, the ugly white frames, the the well known and well disliked white frames. So everything Potter. Hello, fellow Lego lovers. Hello. Why hello there? That, you probably said that 500 years ago. But no. Hello. That's literally just scrolled round. Oh, nice, nice. Yep. We're actually catching up. Yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. Do, 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 do. Abby the Brick School, Scottish, I think. Is it? Is oh, okay. it I don't know. I, I did think she was Irish, yeah. to be fair. Um, Hold up, let, let me ask Google. Bargain Madness, according to Google. But mm. what's the N? Bargains <laughs> and <laughs> Madness? <laughs> Bargains and Madness. Amy, yeah, we'll go with that. Brick um, Masters. It's, it's Billington and Mayman. Judge. I'm, I'm sure it is. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, she's Scottish. Billington there we go. Yep, now we know. She's Scottish. Let me clarify that. Um, brightest Witch Bricks. Oh, hi Blue, that's just an introduction. Uh, James has got to go. I Bye. look forward to a future vlog featuring Ben change, charging the bin dog down the street with a brush whilst <laughs> eating a slice of greasy pizza. Oh, imagine, imagine though, I'm getting like, what's that lady called in Harry Potter? Why you little... <laughs> No, it like gives me vibes like the lady that looks after Harry Potter, like um the squib. Um Madam Fig? Is it mm, Fig? I have no idea for you. Fig Fin Vals. Mevrouw Vals. I don't know what her name is in English for just a second, I don't know why. But yeah. I'm the... not even from Bronx DDT. I'm not even from the UK, and I think you have an Irish twang in words like worth and first. Here we know. I have, I don't know. I mean obviously I haven't got a native English accent, so I sound like whatever I'm with. Well, blue, blue is Irish, so you know, let us know. Um, everything Potter. It has been really fun watching Johanna's collection grow. Also, my internet is bad right now, and you keep glitching, making your faces stuck in weird positions. <laughs> Great, thanks, Ben. <laughs> uh, my ex did Warhammer, and so did I. Uh, and so I joined in because, you know, supportive wife. Mm. And because I was better at painting than he was. Yeah. Hey, always best to get a leg up. I do feel that if you started painting, you'd be immediately better than me. 
Okay, so the bar isn't very high, but I don't think I have Ouch. patience for it. Wow. I painted my, wow. um, I painted one. I you painted did, Age actually. of Ultron, like Golden Dude. He was Who, quite the decent. Age of Ultron? What, Sigmar? Sorry, mm. Age of Sigmar, Good yeah. Lord, the blasphemy. I don't know. It's been um, like, how long is it? Two years that we did that? <laughs> Christian M, are you inviting us to watch you paint so that we feel better about ourselves? That's so nice of you. And you know what? You, you take the Michael out of me, Christian M, <laughs> but that was actually the entire reason of doing it. Yeah. Like, like genuinely, That's what you're I am so it. bad that you will feel good about yourself. Because, like, if you looked at Warhammer and if you go into Warhammer shops and stuff, like, you'll probably feel intimidated by how cool they look. Oh, they and look if so you can't cool. like achieve it yourself, you're probably going to be like, because mm. you're spending a lot of money money on that stuff. Yeah, well, watching, watching can... people do things really terribly makes you feel better about how bad at it, how bad it are. But you know, yeah. I think it's not. You don't need to be good at something to enjoy it. That's kind of the thing, isn't it? Yeah. That sometimes people feel like, oh, I'm rubbish, so I shouldn't try. That's it, exactly. So you know, if I, I can show you, I can do it. So you can do it too. Yeah. You anyway. may not be good at it, but you love it. So Homer Simpson not? plays mobile games. This is a foray that I'm not going to attempt. I don't think, at <laughs> least. I eat toads, so. That's a, mm. that's a very strange thing to say. Um, I eat toads. I eat toads. <laughs> However, frog's legs are all right. Yeah, So maybe work. toads are all right too. I don't know. Have you ever had frog legs? Yeah. Did you? Yeah. When we went on a Why? school trip to France and the school basically was like, you're all eating snails and frog's legs. Oh, our, our school gave us crepes. <laughs> wow. I think they had that audience <laughs> down by then. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they did some actual research. But then, did we eat them all? No. Yes. Did you? Yeah. Did the... Okay, so did all the boys eat them and the girls didn't? Or I mean, was it like... I know that me and my mates ate them. Yeah, because I feel like I'd become a dare for the boys. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's gross. Let's all Lego Mama 92 <laughs> in the hose. Yeah, she's been... been here for a while. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've been wondering for a while now how you made the magnetic standy things for your minifigs. I do want to grab one. I'll show. Oh, there's a cool one. I can show you I the like magnet. this one. There we go. So... Here is the magnet itself. I, don't, I know it won't focus, but you get a sort of idea. So I bought... Do you want me to focus it? No, it's fine. Okay. Um, it won't focus this close. To True, you. it won't. Um, so I bought a round magnet and then I just bought lots of inverted slopes and then I just use plastic glue or super glue at the back of the inverted slope and then stick them to the magnet and I let it dry and then you just stick the mini figure on that plate on top. This is obviously a re awkward one I to reattach. So this, the plate of the minifigure you just stick on top, there we go, actually add the things that the minifigure came with, one moment, this is like the most awkward one you've chosen for me to demonstrate I am this. just so good to you. It's really great. Uh, anyway, while you're doing so this, you is this your first astronomy tower? Yes, it's my first astronomy I'll, tower. I'll uh, pop that back on the board. Thank you. Be careful because the, it's going to be, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> Um, yes, it is my first astronomy tower. I have not built this before. The dolphin now lives on the TARDIS. Uh, um, do, 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 but you know, because it was like one of the only Harry Potter sets still missing, so I was like, I need to get it eventually. But I didn't want to pay full price for it, so I was waiting for a good offer. And if here we were. If it's not pounds. Scottish, it's crap. Austin Powers reference. Thanks, uh, Xanthic Dragon. <laughs> um, Homer Simpson, what's the word? What's the word twang mean? I don't like it. It's if you have like a, a bit of an accent. It's like yeah. a, a bit of it is an accent. Like a trace of something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, right? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Lol, it looks like you're gurning. A popular pastime <laughs> where I'm from, uh, down in the depths of Cornwall, gurning's a national pastime. A national? Yeah, I reckon you're I'd be quite good at now, it. You're a nation now, are you? Cor yes. They, well, they think they might be. They'd like to be. You'd be quite good at gunning, alright? Anything? Oh! Your, your pap <laughs> wow! You just said that! Oh. Just, <laughs> Jeez! Just, wow. Just your paps would be good. Because he'd, like, he'd just go for it. He'd put that, you know that like game that you put like a thing in your oh, mouth God. where you like can't speak? That's one of the best things I've ever um, witnessed in real life. It, like his granddad. Like it's just like a, <clears throat> like a, like a, like a clamp or something that keeps your mouth open. And it's like, your it's like when you go into a dentist and they have to look at all your teeth. And then you need to speak words. <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Amazing. We did it at Christmas. At Tom and Games. Honestly, if I didn't know you were Dutch, you could never tell by your accent. Thanks. I, I try hard. Uh, what is that? Okay. Ben's weird faces that he did should be a gif. <laughs> hey, feel free to gif me up. Gif me up. 
I'm all, I'm all for it. Abby the Brick Squirrel, ouch, I felt that all the way in Florida. <laughs> yeah, yeah, still lingers on now. You set me up. Where, where's Isaac when you need it? I don't know. Who are cider? <laughs> are you from the West Country, Ben? Are you, I be? You get my pirate speak on, eh? It was a good one. See what and, I live with. Yeah, anyway. Uh, his glitch face is totally made up for his toad art skills. <laughs> yeah. Totally awesome, one might say. Um. <laughs> Mod me, please. I am worthy. Give me friends, says Homer Simpson plays mobile games. Um, I eat toads, quote of the year. Uh, foie gras is pretty good as well. If you ever get to France again, to try, th try that. Yeah, fair enough. Did you just say your school gave you crabs or crabs? <laughs> crabs or crabs? Like like the pancake, they're really thin. Yeah, pancakes. crepes. So the little crepes. little pancakes. Yeah. From the creators of I Like Turtles, we bring you I Eat Toads. <laughs> what did I get like? I like turtles. And then he's like, I eat toads. <laughs> yeah, totally. Absolutely. That is that totally on purpose? Yes. Totally on purpose. <laughs> At Homer Simpson, you don't ask to be a mod. <laughs> Fair you enough. gained a privilege. Everything birth everything potter. My birthday is coming up and I'm gonna finally pick up the astronomy tower. On on the Happy subject of your birthday. magnets, Ong, that's so clever. Thanks. My minifig collection is quickly growing and I need some way to display them without taking up all the space. Yes, well that's exactly why I came up with this, because I needed them displayed and not yeah. on the floor. <laughs> ben, break out your Wurzels LP. If not for the copyright strikes, we'd totally be listening to some Wurzels right now. <laughs> Lego Mama 92 I'm from the West Country too. Not alone, Ben. Oh yes, we're, we're all in it together. Represent. Represent. <laughs> uh, Homer Simpson, I also eat crabs. Same. Donald Bonner, Ben is degenerating your stream, Johanna. Smiley face from Donald Bonner. She's... You love me really, Donald. <laughs> Grogu Studios. Can't wait till you hit 2K. Neither can you. Well, I can wait. Who could fine, I'll wait until it happens. <laughs> yeah. What I, feel, I feel like Homer Simpson plays mobile games could be BFAB V2. Because he only eats humans sometimes if they're ripe. <laughs> so th this is definitely some B-Fab vibes coming in here. Yeah. One could only imagine if they both got in the same chat together. Maybe it is B-Fab, just under a different alias. B-Fab did say he was coming. You never know. Yeah. Um, apparently I still have my accent detector. Because I thought Johanna was Dutch. And clearly I picked up on the cider tractor in your accent then. <laughs> yeah, well, is it Massey Ferguson or John Deere? They're the debates, aren't they? Ooh, crest. Sometimes you say stuff and I just go, what? There's a long, there's a long A sound, that creates. There's a long sound in that, yeah. probably. The banter on these streams are the best. Well, we try. You try very hard, to be fair. I don't actually, I actually don't try. This is just my natural state of being. My, this is my natural awesomeness. Chatting kind of crap thing. for days. Crap? Is that really what you want to go for on the yeah. stretch? Where we've just been talking about them for ages. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Cool. Well, I've been talking you about should, what for ages? You make sure you make sure that's not the one that crap the and crap. E sound. Yeah, that's true. Adriana Mello, hi from Brazil. Hello. Why, well, hello there. Gosh, that's far away. Uh, I've come to a point where I have to choose which sets to display. A sad day, Christian M says. Mm. Uh, I feel that you're the same. I'm, I'm there. I'm, I'm more or less. The moment Hogwarts <laughs> Castle will move. To be fair, I've broken down the Horn Tail set. Yeah. That's that's one of the ones I've broken down before. <laughs> RDMDK bricks. Never too late to turn it into a D&D &D discussion. Well, I would totally He's agree with you there. I fine. keep being told I'm setting up my own channel. Because you told me. Well, uh, we'll see. Ah, uh, we'll see, man. No commitment from me. <laughs> Captain Zan just laughing at Cider Tracker. Uh, cider Tracker. That's how you say it. I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is. Golden Very Atlas, nice. welcome to Tea and Cake. Oh. Hello, welcome. Greetings, Golden Atlas. I will. It's a pleasure to have I can't you in the. I actually uh, read uh, things, the... but when I am. <laughs> you having fun there? Nice. When I'm after the live stream, I will add your name onto a white tile here so you can get added to the membership board. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, don't forget to join the Discord and everything. Instructions are 
in the instructions both on the community page and I think mm -hmm. when you joined, mm -hmm. so I, I wouldn't know exactly. Grogu so Studios, enjoyment. guys, guys, BFAB made a video I really agree with. It's about Lego ideas. I've not watched it yet. Wow, fair enough. That's something for you to watch later. <laughs> it's called like Lego. Like I think it's because the title is like um, Lego should cancel Lego ideas or something or oh. something along that line. And I actually haven't had a chance to watch it yet because I feel like really heavily opinionated things. Mm. I need to be in the mood for because that's fair. That's fair. I don't know. There's a lot of negativity in my life at the moment. Homer Simpson like plays mobile games everything. back in again. I recently bought the Dots rocket pencil holder and then ate it. I feel like this man might be Kirby. You take on the forms as well, because that would be interesting. I'm, I'm missing Donald two Bonner times. feels like a boys' club. Love it. Oh, Captain okay. Zan, that or Somerset Tratter. One hundred percent Ghibli Marshall. Um, ah. Bride of Switch Bricks hailing in our new member. Ah, uh, thank cle you. Clever Dad, I never had room to keep any set on display. Oh, that's so sad. Though. There's always room. You can find something. I have, Johanna I have created does room. somehow. I don't know how I keep finding space. I am not like no. I'm not gonna lie. It's Me kind neither. of miraculous. It's crazy. Uh, Tom N Games. I can't wait for my police station modular okay. diner and second assembly square to come in, but it takes at least four more days. No. Four days is like that's like. Oh shit! That's after the weekend. Uh, hold up. Hang your head in shame. That's uh. Didn't, is there some kind of swear jar? I don't know. I'll put something in it later. <laughs> um, Whereabouts are you from, Captain Zan? Uh, Abby the Brick Squirrel. I'll um, leave the comments to that one. Brick Squirrel. Everything Potter. I went to the Lego shop the other day and bought the burrow, but spilled a drink all Ooh. over three bags while looking at the set, and I had to carry around a box all day. Yeah, that is the that is the downside of uh, buying yeah. a Lego set when you haven't got your car there. <laughs> it is a really good set, though. Like, yeah, basically, the burrow is the best. It's one of my favourite sets. It's the first big one that I bought after I got back into it. <laughs> Johanna, you're a great example on how to efficiently use space to display sets and adding <laughs> lots of details to a city in a small space. I would agree with that. I think yeah, it is just... wonderful what you've been able to do with that space. It's I'm quite happy with it. It looks very good. So, you know. I need to actually, I need to give a bit of attention to the pillar supporting my third layer, adding some clouds or something. And then I also... But I'm gonna do a video eventually, I keep promising this to people, but I want to kind of make a video about like how to start your own Lego city because I feel like a lot of people get really intimidated from people having like really big cities or like maybe when they mm. haven't got the budget or something to start one. But I kind of feel like you can start you can start a Lego city, it doesn't it just doesn't have to be big straight away. You can add like small little details yourself. Anyway, that's a teaser of what I'm gonna talk about, but I'm totally gonna to film this, but I've been promising this for four months now. Um, so that's on the list. I promise it'll happen. I feel like there is a dialogue going on here that should be read out in a, in the, in the, uh, the West Country accent. But it's very much going on between two people. I'm going to read a few more of them, though. Uh, Captain Zan, I know them well, always going past my window, and I can smell the cider on them. That is a very rough one. The vid doesn't say ideas sucks, but that in most of the sets, Lego designers completely change the fan's design. Isn't that the point though? I, I guess so. It's fine, I need to watch it. As I said, yeah. generally ones that have like the clickbaity, slightly more negative title put me off to start with. But I keep meaning to watch it because it is kind of an interesting debate. I don't know. I feel like Lego Ideas is what it says on the box. Lego Ideas is an idea, it's not a finished product that you submit. So once it gets submitted to Lego, the things that they have to think about are like way beyond anything that like, we ever have to think about. Like, are like the pigments like required get uh, doable like what is the price per piece like is it easy to manufacture do they have to get a license like do they have to get new prints new stickers like there's so many different costs for like a global organization i think it just gets really boring like considering i work in marketing for like various big companies like we asked one question the other day just to see if we could use some assets from a company it took a month to kind of get like mm. a response like corporate worlds are just so different to what you'd imagine they are a so bit i crazy. feel like lego ideas is an is a base idea and it's inevitably going to change during the oh, process well we're going to say hello to ben morton hello ben morton i was um, doing a long omega man thing. just donated to us oh for the swear jar 
Because you are a mess. I am always, always, there's always one every stream. But anyway, I have lots of thoughts on it, but I haven't watched the video, so I don't know if I'm repeating points yeah. being said. I do know that I get quite defensive of Lego quite quickly, so I don't know, and that's probably not always the, the side of the story you want to hear. So, um, I don't know. I just, I feel like I don't ever get invested enough to be necessarily disappointed for what's done, because I feel like the idea and the extra sets are two different things and I really think it's awesome that they have a program where they actually give the like some of the revenue to the person designing originally. Yeah. I think that's something that they really didn't have to do and they're getting quite a lot of like negativity for it even though I think it's like yeah, they don't have to do this. It's a cool thing to do. So um, yeah. I have a lot of thoughts but because I, I can't respond to the video because I haven't watched the video so and I haven't really thought this through nor collated my thoughts. So maybe this is a mess and maybe if I think about it more properly, I will have some other things to say as well. So this is just like off the top of my head what I think. Yeah. Johanna is getting um, some comments on the old um, use of creative language. Um, so she's just like us normal people too. <laughs> Apparently so. Um, I remember Rick when I was... hailing from, from South Yorkshire to be precise. Uh, Homer Simpson plays mobile games. Should I act normal now? Nah. Be you. When I was in um, when I was an au pair like some years ago, like six years or so ago. Um, I feel the story coming on, so hold up. <laughs> Hello, Lego R two S W. Thanks, Ben. Oh my gosh, her shoes are shiny. This is Hermione and her shoes. Shiny shoes. Look, it's like silver shiny shoes. Yeah, very nice. Um, yeah. So the story was when I was an au pair like some years ago. Obviously, I was caring for children like like from four to like 11 or 10. Um, I obviously couldn't swear, which is fine. Um, but once um, I was driving them back from school and this car came out of nowhere and like nearly crashed into us and it was really scary. So I swore quite loudly and all the boys in the back just went like, <gasps> <laughs> and not because the car nearly killed us, just because I swore. <laughs> <laughs> it's like priorities guys, ah, children. priorities. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Uh, so Abby Brickswell likes likes the burrow except Ginny's room, which is more like a cell, and has inspired me mm. to one day make her her own city. Uh, I quite like Brick Ginny's Street. Room. The burrow is the best, but yes, so true. Raven three one nine S digitize all the things. Then your Lego city can be as big as you want. I mean, there is that, but it's much more satisfying to have it in real life. LL, love the idea. I'm not sure what that is actually referring to, but some some ideas are loved nonetheless. Some, some ideas are loved nonetheless. Thanks for, for your input. Here is uh, Marcel. Is it Marcel? I don't know. No, it's Marcel in Dutch. It's Neville in English. Wow. <laughs> Sorry. I just said it and I was like, wait, that doesn't Okay, the chat right. is booming once again. Booming. Um, Hello. Yeah. Welcome to the booming chat. Hello, Legor2. Is it because I said some controversial Hello. opinions? Uh, thoughts on the Lego Marvel CMF? Looking uh, great. Yep, yeah, looking very good. Looking um, very good. I won't get all of them, but you do you think you want one? Yeah, I'll get a couple. Why not? There's random. So packs. I'm hoping to maybe go to the Lego store at the start of August eventually, and maybe I hope they'll have them in bags. And I'm sure they will. So then we can get the ones that we want. Because I definitely want at least two pages. Adriana Mello, love how you display your sets. LL, I've just started collecting, but have no clue what to do with all the bits I've collected. Decide if you want to display them. That's <laughs> probably a good start. Um, what kind of stuff do you collect? Because if it's like something that you could make, mock into a cohesive thing, you could put some base plates on the nave, start adding a bit of road or a path or like some greenery. Luke T joining Lots the chat. Hello, Luke T. Hello, Luke T. Um, intimidated, Tom and Games, intimidated from the cities that Brixie or Alex Nunes have. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have space like that. No. And then Lego Mama 92, yes, do a video on how to start a city. Yeah. I'd love I to will. start one, but have very limited bricks and space. Would love beginner tips. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I definitely really want to make one. Uh, Johanna getting berated for still being a potty mouth. Um, throwing I'm sorry, I'm Christian not M, Throwing the bags away like that without checking if there's small pieces stuck I, in them I gives me the them. chills. I shake them before I throw them, don't worry. Yeah, guys. that's it. we got to take I check them. <laughs> Adriana Mello loves Harry Potter sets. Um, Luke T, how are you? Just generally. Just generally, we're all right. It's a bit of a turbulent month, I think. Yeah, why well, don't you say that again? Um, you know, Ben's, Ben's work is shutting down at the end of the month, so lots of stress from that, isn't it? So we, we come on live streams to de-stress and have Absolutely. a bit of a laugh. Absolutely. So, um, yeah. Having brick school. When I was in London in 94 and again in 95, I drank rather more, I, I drank rather more, drank scrumpy jack with black currant than was responsible. <laughs> 
I don't drink anymore, however. Uh, Scrumpy Jack is brutal at the best of times yeah. anyway. Um, so, that was yeah, brave. well done. Although that is a that is a drink of my people. A dr it is so, a drink of my people. Doesn't mean it's nice. <laughs> but it is uh, it is a I feel like if you're like younger. Oh god, yeah. It's like absolutely. one of the first things you'll, you'll drink. You have to drink. do it. It's like initiation. Initiation. Grogu Studios, will you ever submit to LEGO Ideas? If you submit a mock of a theme everyone wants, you would have a lot of chance. Um, I don't know. Maybe if I ever have an idea that I would be desperate enough to, to submit, for sh like, I would definitely consider it. I have nothing against it. I just don't think I'm good enough at making mocks that they would qualify for anything. Plus, I haven't really got any ideas at the moment that I was like, yes, this needs to be submitted. Especially if you go on, talking about getting intimidated, if you go on to Lego Ideas, I'm like, wow, like, it's so cool. Well, I mean, I'm just going to turn down the brightness of the camera a little yeah, bit, because we're like, shiny beacons. <laughs> this is the wrong one. <laughs> Captain Zan, I think for posh cider, they squeeze the apples. No, they give them a nice tender massage, just to bring out that extra special Granny Smith taste. I really like that Shuli cider at the moment. That's delicious. Oh, I don't that's know. Granny Smith apples is amazing. Um, ugh, yuck. Oh, Scrumpy yeah, Jack reminds thinking. me of my teen years and getting drunk and having cider burps. Also oh. around 94, lol. Not good. Well, just to level the playing field, I was definitely not drinking Scrumpy Jacks in 94, as that was when I was born. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> I'm sure you made very many people very happy with that comment. Yeah, well, they're dropping dates. They're dropping dates. I'm on, I'm dropping dates. Oh, yeah. you know, you we'll, we'll, we'll be there one day if we're lucky. What, 94? No, I don't know. Nah, well, we're, we're, well we might, imagine that. Imagine if we did make it to 94. How old would we be? Well, 100. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Brain fart moment. <laughs> I am a genius, <laughs> and I'm here for the lols. I was like, wait, <laughs> am I being tricked? <laughs> no. Uh, no, just me being me, you know. Thanks, Ben. That's fine. Basically, you were asking the question before you had to think about it. I didn't think about it, I just fired away. Yeah. You know. Awesome. <laughs> so I just started this is so shooting. so cute. Look how cute this is. This is my favourite build so far. This is such a nice little party table. Captain Zan with gloves on, very posh. <laughs> What's the best way to display lots of Lego minifigures? Yeah, like I'd on the whiteboard because that's my favourite one. If there are some really great stands from like Wicked Bricks where you can just like line them up. Or I feel like, yeah, like I've built this little. Can you grab that tri. Oh no. I think it's. Oh no. <laughs> oh oh no, 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 it's on the it. floor. Anyway, um, it's on the floor. The woodshop teacher would love to hear Johanna do some proper swearing in Dutch. Swearing in Dutch is very often like um, similar to English. Luke T, am I the only one who loves Neville? Of course not. No, he's, he's, he's a charming rogue the charming. of the uh, of the Harry Potter series. Can you grab the tribunal of minifigures? Though? What is the tribunal of minifigures? I don't know the the black bloody oh, what, display this? thing. Yeah, the bleachers. Be careful. Lift it up gently. Do a little prayer. So I build Praise these. Praise be to Valka. This is sorry. This is quite dusty. But um, I build these little tribunals things just with spare bricks where you can display your minifigures up on as well, which is quite useful. So you just have like a base plate each. <laughs> so this is my spare ones. Could you put it back, please? Uh, this can go here now because it's oh, okay. Yeah, this you is put it here. So annoying because then I'm gonna find it annoying to touch that instead. So. Nice. Well done. <laughs> Johanna, what is the best deal you've ever got on a Lego set? Or a really good deal that you were excited about? Um, and then you're getting people just ask you to swear in Dutch. <laughs> oh gosh. Um, that is from your work, I think. Oh, I just got a Teams message from my work. So I... Okay, let me think. How do I get rid of that? Because that is fine. in the way. It'll go away in a minute. Oh, yeah. So, what was the question? Swearing in Dutch, not going to happen. This is a PG stream. Um, what, what else did they ask? My f my favourite Lego bargain. Ah, oh, what is a good Lego bargain? I don't know. While you ponder that, I you should get like... the new Dots wave. 
Should I? I don't know. You're told by Homer Simpson. <laughs> Homer Simpson knows it all. This is my nice. favourite little build in this set. This is adorable. The Chocolate Fountain. This, whomever designed that can come design the tables at our wedding. This is great. Are the MDK bricks? I thought I heard Ben say thoughts on the Meghan Markle CMF. Meghan Markle CMF? How many of those could you get? That She's done a few characters. Yeah, I mean, but also like different outfits, I guess. Yeah, I suppose. Damn, the possibilities really are endless with these CMFs, aren't they? Yeah, some Licensing. more some more uh, demands for Dutch swear words. I'm actually really excited to find out what um, Series 22 is going to be like for Lego. I, I'm really excited for that. I love I love the CMF series. Omega Man, cider is the nectar of the gods. I've heard I that before. I concur, <laughs> Omega Man. But also because you're allergic to beer, so... That's true. Blue, we have fresh apple cider during the fall. Oh, that sounds delicious. That does it. You made cider. I did, actually. Yeah. With Sam and his neighbour. That's pretty cool. Abby the Brook Squall, I was 20, 21 at the time of the cidering. When we took our group trip to France, the only reason I wasn't hungover was because I was still drunk. <laughs> Classic. Uh, Luke T, what is your favourite CMF of all time? Oh my gosh. I'm just going to stick with like the non-licensed themes to just narrow it down one way or another. Oh my gosh, this we is so keep difficult. Thinking. Uh, LL, I'm collecting modulars. What do you think mm. of, your, of Lego City sets? So we'll I, get to that as well. Yes. I like the witch from series 14, the green witch with the purple robes. She is really, really cool. I like the devil boy, you know, in the Halloween costume. I like the samurai, like Lady Samurai um, from like way back. Um, I like Santor and the violin player from the recent one. I love the wizard with the sparkly sparkle robes. Uh, I like the elf warrior from like way back, 17 I think. It's a lot. Uh, I like loads of them. <laughs> so, what do you think of Lego City sets? Also, why do you ponder that one? Ben just used the word massage, apples and granny in the same sentence. <laughs> and you know what Omega Man? I did it again. As if that could happen twice in the same stream. It, it just did. Uh, so, Lego City, you're still thinking about that one, I hope. Yes, so, Lego City, I'm not a massive fan. I don't, I feel like it's very, like, child-friendly, which is fine. It's just not something that I tend to buy a lot from. The only Lego City thing I have is the ice cream truck. Fair enough, fair enough. Uh, Christian M, at this point, submitting to ideas would have to be a full-time job to be picked, if even. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bricker Picks, thanks, Ben. Way to make me feel old. It's okay, I'm way faster at building Lego than you. <laughs> and yes, yes you are. You Too know what? Shame. I have to have something. Alright. And unfortunately, Lego building will probably stick with you forever. However, my youth will not. How sad. Your skill is forever. Skill is forever. Omega Man, I feel your pain. I like how when we start when we start streams, you're like, yeah, okay, I'm just taking some out. And then by towards the end of the stream, you've I gone to, completely broke. I need to liven up. You need, to, um, you need to get warmed up. The Nelly Dean in Soho on Dean Street, for those of you in London. I think it's corporate now. Oh, I guess that was where they went. Or maybe something, I don't know. Hiker 13, high tea boy and girl. Late, but here. <laughs> you need to nearly be corporate to afford London. London yeah, that's very true. You do now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, not everything is, but... Johanna, will you ever start a mock series? I don't feel like I trust... <laughs> Everyone's just comparing their ages now. <laughs> I don't feel like I have enough mocking skills in order to do a mock series. I totally, If I make more, then I definitely will share it. Obviously, doing a mock is very expensive. I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like there are so many amazing mock, like mocks that I want to do out there already designed by people that sometimes I feel intimidated to do my own. Um, I'd like I like doing it, but also I like doing mocks when there's no pressure on me because I've just I've designed a um, like extra floor for the brick bank. Another hint, but that was super simple. Also, the really annoying thing is after I finished designing it because it's a really obvious extension. Um, I went online and like there was literally people that had done pretty much mm. the same thing apart from obviously my interiors were different. I was like, oh great, like it was such an obvious thing I did that it didn't surprise me that other people had done the same thing but, was, but also like I was like great now Chris, I've done something that Christian everybody else M, has done already. everyone loves Neville that guy won the going through puberty game he did actually yeah he did absolute champion in that department that's for sure and a dentist 
As soon as I heard that team's message, I remembered about the online learning nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> Triggered some PTSD in people. <laughs> oh, uh, gosh. ODJ, how can it be a PG stream if you're swearing in English? I didn't do it on purpose. I'm trying not to. Uh, Captain Zan loves the way Ben says cider. 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 <laughs> Give me my cider. Give me my rattler. More to the point. When you when you have your Cornish accent, you just sound like your granddad. Yeah, yeah, he actually sounds like that yeah. quite legitimately. And then when Ben calls, I can tell if Ben's on the phone to his granddad because like that's what it'll sound like. <laughs> like legit. Bricker picks Lego. My grandmother is ninety. That is a handsome age. Can I can I go? My grandmother and grandfather are nearly ninety six because yeah, they were born in the true. same year as the very Queen. True. It's my grand's birthday on the eighteenth of August. They're a ripe age. Yes. Hiker 13, I built a building just for that chocolate fountain scene. Yes, I mean, it's a really nice one. One minute, sorry. I'm just trying to focus what I'm doing wrong. There we go. People want me to write a guidebook on how to say cider. It's going to be <laughs> <Cider>. very long. <laughs> Does that count? Cider. Oh, uh, here we have them, the Jay white Bricks, frames. Jay Bricks Production. Hello. Hey. Why, well, hello. How you doing? Uh, Lego Harry Potter or Lego Modulars? Don't make me choose. Um, and also, how often do you go to the Lego store? I go about once a month yeah, the day, I think so. at the moment. Yeah. It's just a bit too far to go more often, I think. Especially because generally after the first of the month, I spend all my budget. So like going is more dangerous than anything. Um, but yeah, about once a month. Yeah, Pretty so. much on the first of the month, generally. And so, Lego Harry Potter or Lego Modulars? These are the questions that must be asked and answered. I feel like Harry Potter because like Diagon Alley is practically a modular. Well, Grogu Studios, I don't like the city buildings because they're open on the back and lack detail. Though the yeah. cars and trucks are nice. Yeah, I think the vehicles from the LEGO City lines are decent. I just think that even the buildings that are just facades in the LEGO one and the LEGO City sets are so sparse that like making them... If you have modulars, even if you mocked out those ones in the city sets, you have to add a lot to make them look nice next to modulars. But then maybe I'm just really fussy. That's a very mm, that, quite that's, possible. Yeah, very possible. Um, LL, the Lego Square, the Leicester Square Lego store is the most stressful Lego shopping. I wanted to PAB, mm -hmm. but couldn't deal with Pick all, a brick. Ah, I, want, I wanted to PAB, PAB. I'm getting in with a lingo, but couldn't deal with all the people and stress. Yeah, I can imagine. It, I mean, I think it depends when you days. go. Yeah. I went to the Amsterdam Lego store before I was into Lego. Remember when we went? Yes. And you like you and Regina had a great old time oh, yeah, like, we trying were using to make that, that uh, op, scanner. Yeah, that yeah. reality thing. Worked. Yeah. That was cool. So that was really fun. I remember looking at the treehouse build there actually and I was like, oh that's yeah, really sweet. cool. Um and then I got into Lego like a few months later. Brickapix, how big are you? I concur. I nearly stepped on a child when at the Leicester Square store. <laughs> I'm hoping this wasn't like a direct trod, I'm, like giant style. We're quite tall and like... <laughs> How I, I most definitely kicked one. <laughs> yes, I was going to say, I'm quite tall and like... They do have a habit of getting underfoot. Kids tend to be like, like elbow height yeah. a lot, which is kind of like not ideal. Dangerous for them. Also because These kids, things are pointy. Because like I can move whenever, like it really suddenly and kids don't just do what the fuck they... PG channel right here. Hi T Toys with Johanna, the Polly Mouth, Johanna, Johanna, Johanna. I'm sorry. The Polly Mouth, Johanna. Kids do whatever the hell they like, and therefore they sometimes just walk into you and you're like, oh, there's a child here who knew. Oh my god, I can't believe it happened again. I can. Amazing. You get too into it. Hiker 13, hey, I just noticed your march to 2k subs. Special event perhaps. Yeah. Well, I'm doing, <laughs> I probably said it already, but I'm doing a live stream on Saturday, which is a Harry Potter Day live stream because it's obviously Harry Potter's birthday. So we're doing a mocking live stream during <laughs> the day from 12 UK time. But I'm also going to make like some celebrate celebratory videos because it's also my one year YouTube anniversary soon on the 8th of um, August. So 
Lots of yeah, editing did. work in front of me. That's uh, that's for sure. Yeah. Was this maliciously at Brickerpix? Uh, um, no. <laughs> Amazing. I'm so Captain cute. Zan, sus. It's not about you, about kicking children. <laughs> Western Wolf. Get out my way. <laughs> What's up, nerds? <laughs> Hello. Uh, Luke T, how did you two meet? You, you well, we used to on? live in the same house. I moved yeah. in um, after a, a falling out at my previous house, um, which was <laughs> unfortunate, yes. to say the least. Um, no, and nothing, not, nothing, like, in, nothing in cold blood. It no, was no, no, just, not like between people oh, necessarily. Good, no, goodness, it was no. just like life um, change. Yeah, it was yeah. just life stuff. Uh, and so, yeah, I moved into a house and then... I was there for a while, you were there for a while, I and then, there. I've been living there for you know, like a year and then and the handsome time. stud that I am, you just decided that I must be yours. So. It was funny, because I, I started realising that I quite liked spending time with Ben, like really slowly on. I was like, oh actually, like I, because I lived on the top floor and so did Ben, and sometimes I heard him go down to cook, I was like, oh I'll go downstairs as well, because I really like hanging out with Ben. And then eventually I realised that I kind of fancied, like I, I think I fancied you, because I'd never really been in like a proper relationship, and it was kind of like a friendship thing to start with. And then like I, I plucked the courage one evening when we were like in a, in a pub with like some people from the house to ask you like to come to the cinema with me um, after just having watched Fantastic Beasts with like the whole house. And you were like, yeah, yeah, cool. Because I basically was like, oh yeah, because we've been talking about how we really want to see it again just to kind of pick up on the small details. Mm. And you're like, yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. And I was like, oh great, we have a date. And then I realised, because I obviously talked to you quite a lot, I realised kind of like day or like two days before <laughs> that you didn't really think of it as a date you just thought it was like like friends because you're like not really assuming that anybody mm -hmm. was ever gonna fancy you really in that sense like you just didn't think about it so i was like what do i do because like i'd spend the evening with you because we've been playing skyrim again i'd been inviting myself over to your room for like playing skyrim because i was really interested yeah, in but the you game. were actually into skyrim no i was actually into skyrim and when somebody says they want to be shown skyrim they get shown but that I, that, that was great, but you still didn't like pick up on the fact that I was actively trying to spend more time with you. What can I say? I'm to the point I'm that I was hopeless. like, we, I left your room. I went back to my room, and I was like, I think I'm gonna have to tell him, like, <laughs> literally spelled it out that tomorrow. Like, yeah, I think it was tomorrow is like a date. So I was like, you know, you know, like when we're going to the cinema, like that's a date. And you were like, oh, cool. oh no, I said something. Like, oh no, I said, I think I said, I actually quite fancy you. And you were like, okay. Okay, like, like over text, um, and you're like, so that thing on Wednesday is that a date? It's like yes. <laughs> <laughs> Took him, I love a lover over here. I literally had to yeah. tell you that I fancied you, which is such a risk as well. Damn. But I kind of figured Ben is quite. Where chill. was I gonna go? No, this is true. No, but it wasn't <laughs> like my room. You were chill enough that you were like, if you didn't fancy me back, it wouldn't have been awkward in the chat yeah, house because that it. was kind of like the the oh, point. Yeah, here we so go. That's the story. I've been waiting for these. What's Excellent. Happening? Omega Man. Oh god. Swear jar. Swear jar. Hmm. <laughs> this channel just got a 12A rating. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tommy Rich doesn't through say. Super Chat. <laughs> it doesn't say anything underneath it, but I am assuming um, that this is indeed for the swear jar. Um, yeah. Oh no, the F bomb. We went from PG to PG. PG this is 12. probably going to mean that this stream is going to get demonetized. Yeah, probably. There we go. Come for the Lego, stay for the swearing. <laughs> Yet we won't swear in Dutch. I feel I, like they're just... I'm sorry, Hi T. I get, I get you and Brightest Witch Bricks confused, said Western Wolf. Um, well, does Brightest Witch Bricks have a potty mouth? Because that's <laughs> probably the best distinguisher. Um, she is Matthew, here. I mean, she was here earlier. Matthew Kowalski. Uh, Matthew Kolakowski, you get one F-bomb in PG-13 movies here in the US, so one more and you're officially R-rated. <laughs> wow. Now an uh... 18 channel. <laughs> I mean, I do always mark my videos not for kids, so... <laughs> yeah, that's it. Two, 2K already. Seems like a couple of weeks ago. Nice. Yeah, it's kind of cool. And that is from Daroy. Uh, like there are theories ago. saying that Harry Potter was actually born on December the 25th. Ooh, yeah. I f were they by uh, Sybil Trelawney? <laughs> you want to... Oh! Wow. You want to learn... Captain's Ant, you just want to learn how to swear in more languages. <laughs> Who doesn't? 
Come on, that's the one thing they could teach you in school to keep you engaged. Don't kids teach themselves that, though? Yeah, that's true. Through just Everybody who's ever been given a French dictionary in school has just looked that up first. And yes, it is in there, kids. <laughs> <laughs> Joey T, Ben is death so handsome. I would agree. The main reason I do this stream is just so I can look at myself. Oh, good lord. Great. I make myself sick. Uh, <laughs> Luke T, favourite TV show of all time? Hmm. Wow. Now that, that is a question. Favourite TV show? Yeah. You know what? I actually really, really enjoyed watching the first two seasons of Heroes. Hmm. That is one of my most memorable TV shows. Unfortunately, a little bit forgotten in the past now, but there you go. Um... <laughs> Omega Man, she stalked you, Ben. Yeah, Stopped yeah, you by living in your own yeah. house. Raven 319S. That must have hurt when you fell out of your house. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Abby Brick Squirrel. That is the best story. Hiker 13. Finally, a bit of swearing. <laughs> Western Wolf. She fancied him. Lol. I know. What was uh, I thinking, right? I know. Um, Tommy Rich. Hi, Daniel. people. Hello. Thank you for being here. LL, I think I will stick to ordering online rather than go to Leicester Square again, which mm. is my closest store. I mean, the thing is, you can't order Pab online, or not for the good for the good prices, mm. nor BAM, so... <laughs> Lego Mama 92 And I thought the worst thing on these streams was the snake cranking. Well, <laughs> Lego Mama 92 it turns out that I'm the tame one on this stream. You were also the snake cranking person. Yes, exactly. And that, compared to your potty oh, mouth, is very tame. Sorry. Just realise what you're saying. Absolutely. Ow. Again, thank you very much, Tommy. Uh, uh, Tommy Rich, coming in We just in there. caught up. We to have. The bit yeah. Where you donated. Yeah. Raven three one nine S. I'm from California, so the conversation going on is so eloquent sounding. Makes me want to have a tea and crisps. <laughs> Go for it. A tea and crisps. That is a that is a combo and a half. I would say, tea and biscuits would mm -hmm. get you in the mood. Um, although a bag of crisps right now would go a long way. Yeah, I'm very warm. Yeah, I'm not. I'm pretty. I'm pretty well uh, managed. Um, <laughs> Captain Zan, <laughs> I so want to swear in all the languages. Yeah, Bricker Picks. I teach you. Skill. I teach you how to swear in Polish, but I can't spell it. <laughs> Lol. That is fair. Um, there was that Wolverine movie that's PG thirteen, and he said, "Go f yourself, pretty boy." Fair enough. Kimberly Marshall, bless you both. And now you're getting married. It shows that social it shows the socially inept can get together. Indeed it does. There's hope for you all. <laughs> Burn. Is that where pardon my French comes from? That'd be pardon my Dutch, surely. Um Ali for Gamer. Hello. Hi, Hi Ali. How you doing? Grogu Studios, learn how to swear in other languages? Hop over to Google Translate. Of course. Homer Simpson, guys, I'm building my popcorn carts. <laughs> I like how that's like a multiple. Like that is a thing now. What's it called? Like a multiple. Yeah, multiple popcorn carts. <laughs> I'm building the, them all. <laughs> Favourite TV show ever? Grimm. It's amazing. Actually, yeah, mm. Grimm was pretty cool. The Witcher, I actually really enjoyed The Witcher. Um, think of any. Anyone going to see the Suicide Squad? No. Um, I actually am very tempted to see the new one because I want to see if it's better than the other one. Um, there you go. I invent Grogu Studios. I invented an unexisting girlfriend to not offend a girl that proposed to me. She still didn't find out. Wow! How convoluted. That's so, something Beefhab would say. So as well. Ben has zero game. Good thing Johanna does. I would actually say I have negative game because of obliviousness. <laughs> you were like so oblivious. You know, that's it. But then, you know, I knew I was something special. So I was just <laughs> waiting for people to come to me. You know how it is. Um, Ricky Picks. <laughs> I'm confused about the Suicide Squad. Is it a remake of the original or a continuation? Okay, so it's actually a remake of the original that came out last year with the same actors in some parts to make it extra confusing because it didn't exactly do very well last year and I think they just want to wipe the slate clean and crack on with another one. When you say last year, do you mean two years ago? It might be. Either like way, longer. it was not very long ago in terms of how mm. quickly they've remade it. They obviously really hated it. 
<laughs> What's well, a bit like I only released a Snyder cut for like what was it? Batman v Superman? Justice League. Justice League. Yeah. But that's four and a half hours all... long nearly. Yeah, I know, but like, you know, they're just trying they're look, trying basically they all want to be Marvel, don't they? And yeah. they're like, Oh we did and it wrong, just let's can't try quite again. Do it. Yeah. You just can't quite get there. It is it is a tough <laughs> ask to be fair. Said Ali Hassan, I'm Hello. sorry I'm so late. No, it's fine. And I wasn't able here. to join for the last few lives. Oh, it's nice to have you. Thank you for giving us your time. Really appreciate Omega it. Omega Man. Firefly is one of my favourite shows of all time. Game of Thrones Lego would be cool. It would really live up to the 18 plus packaging. I think um, Mega Constructs has that license. Uh, okay. There is now, a really cool Drogon mm, buildable model that you should look yeah. up. But Game of Thrones was a pretty cool series up until the unspeakable happened. So let's not go there. Um, I can't I Firefly. Can't anything you watch Game of Thrones. Too. Firefly is one of my favourite shows of all time. I actually would quite like to watch Firefly. Uh, Hiker 13, Suicide Squad, yes! Peter Capaldi, even if only for a few scenes. Yeah, mm -hmm. Peter Capaldi is a certified G. So, there we go. Uh, Western Wolf, Daredevil is my fa is my favourite show. What have I what, what? I'm literally wow. trying to think what I've watched so I can like shortlist it. I'm imagining this is quite possibly from Google Translate. It might not be. Um, Hi T, Spellhood is het beste verdomde Lego YouTube kanaal out. <laughs> yeah, that's it's a very mild, mild swear word. Ah, I Dutch swore. <laughs> I'll take it. Iced tea and donuts. I mean, that was unintentional, but anyway. Or five years ago, lol. Um, Avid Rexall, not going anywhere near a theatre until more than 55% of Florida is vaxxed. I mean, mm. yeah, that's fair. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Xanthic Dragon, Handmaid's Tale is amazing. Yeah, I like the book, but I don't know. You just so don't watch at TV, this point, do you? you probably have picked up on the fact that I don't really watch TV. Yeah, Western Wolf, Ever? The Suicide Squad is kind of a remake, but has some of the same characters. I think the old one is canon, but it won't be mentioned. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. At high, D at high T boy, oh, me. <laughs> Did you like my D&D dices? Did I did I see D and D dice? Who said it? Ali for gamer. Oh no, Ali! I, I forgot to show him. Ah, oh. let me do it live. Wow, here we go. We're about to get a live review. Johanna forgot. It's because um, it's because Ben never checked the Discord, but she sent this on. Oh, like, did she send it on Discord? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Did she send it here? No, no, no. Which channel did you send it in? Hold up, you probably say it before I... <laughs> Streamlabs, thank you for subscribing, Raven319S. Welcome, yeah. you will uh, you will get written up onto the board in due, tour, in due course. I think that was just subscribing. He, he, did, subs member. he did subscribe. Members They're not going on the board. No. Oh, sorry, you won't. <laughs> thanks but for thanks subscribing. <laughs> thanks, Ben. <laughs> oh, here it is, here it is. There we go. Good Lord. They are, that is a lot of D&D &D dice. Ben is liking it. I am very much liking it. I want to see the sorted box. Oh, there we go. That's like a dice that Ali sent us. It's in memes and banter for the for the members that want to see it. Oh, that is dice heaven. Look at that. Look at the colour coding. When am I going to get a dice tray and that many dice? It could be your thing. That's true. You're I do. starting a channel. Yeah, I do like dice. They're very cool. Matthew Kulikowski. Saw a 10 out of 10 movie review for the new Suicide Squad. The first one was pretty messy. <laughs> James Gunn directed the new one, the director of Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm, yes, he did. Mm, mm. So, you know, <laughs> very, I'm very stuff. keen to watch it. Guardians of the Galaxy is a cracking movie. Where is the sticker sheet? Or a cracking set of films. Oh, there it is. Uh, Sayad Ali I really like Once Upon a Time, even though it's mm. now discontinued. I think it's definitely my favourite. I liked, I liked Gilmore Girls, when, like the first few series. I watched that, all of that. Raven 139 mm -hmm. hitting those welcomes. Um, what have we got out here? Oh, I did a terrible job on that sticker. I hate putting stickers in in like a panel. It's just such a pain. That's probably my least favourite way to apply stickers. Western Wolf. Guardian of the Galaxy is my favourite movie of all time. And I'm so excited for what Gunn does with DC characters. Mm. Yeah, so am I. Western Wolf, did you get... Oh, man. The Benathar. Did you get it? Did you get it? Uh... Omega Man, they are set before Serenity. I'm so lost, don't know Sorry. what Western Wolf, about. did someone say D&D? &D? 
me. I, I said D&D. And to be fair, this has been one of the least D&D filled episodes or lives. Episode. Episodes. This is now this a is, series. Yeah, this has been one of the least D&D referenced um, lives. Mm. I, I usually do chat on about it for a fair amount of time during these things. Um, and apparently I'm making a D&D channel. You guys, um, if you have any so, suggestions yeah, on what it's sure. going to have to be called, let me know. I mean, we obviously don't know if these are going to be available on YouTube. But I suggested D&D for noobs. D&D noobs. Newbie D&D. D&D for dummies. Western Wolf. I wrote a D &D Suicide Squad D&D one-shot to celebrate the new movie coming out. Oh, cool. Now, that is awesome. That's did you use um, stock character sheets? And if so, who did, you, who did you pick? I'm guessing just the members of the Suicide Squad. Do they all at least have one level in Rogue? Oh, oops, uh, there we go. Oh, I've seen a trailer for, for the new Suicide Squad. Yeah, you will have done. You will have done. It looks interesting. Grogu Studios. I started a new D&D campaign and heck, the Dungeon Master really hates me. <laughs> I mean, if he does, then, you know, get out of there. No no D&D is better than bad D&D. True, true. Um, so, you know... Uh, Western Wolf, Benatar hasn't come out come out here yet. No, August I'm going to get it when it's available. Should be Saturday, should it? Is it not out here? Yeah, to say. Oh, but here. most of the June 1st wave is delayed till, um, to July, uh, to August 1st mm. for the US. For some unknown reason. Probably stock issues. <laughs> okay, Ben, what's your favourite moment of a DD and d game? Oh, so many moments. When you get to screw people uh, over. So many moments. I've been DMing a game for the last... Well, it would last 30 weeks now. Yeah, for a while. Bearing in mind this session this was meant to take eight weeks and the players just kind of absolutely went off on one, um, which which is great. It has been absolutely amazing. Um, but I, best moments, there's just been so many. I've actually written down detailed um, session recounts of all of it. And we're currently on page... 103 and it's about 40,000 words long which I've been told is basically a novel um, so you know may get to see quite a few of those coming up at, at some point which would be nice um, best moments even, even last game I gave my players these these supercharged weapons because uh, they beat the trials of some kind of god um, and now they're just going around killing things that in the session before they were running away from, and now they're just obliterating things, and I can't wait to just throw something even more massive at them, just see what they do. Um, see if they go down like the heroes that they are. It's going to be amazing. Lots of nat ones, though. They're always fun. Um, the Woodshop Teacher. Use Lego Knights, Dwarves, Skeletons, and Orcs as figures with Warhammer, uh, with Warhammer rules with my kids. Great fun. Yeah, that is a classic idea. Quality. Quality, mate. Quality. Quality. Ali for Gamer. Hi tea Dungeons and Biscuits. There you go, that's the partner channel. Homer Simpson plays mobile games. Goodbye. Thank you for joining. Goodbye. Joining. Thanks for being here. Omega Man. D&D nudes. Lol. BFAB will be a first member. Hey, sounds like there's call for it though. So, you know. Noobs. <laughs> Only fans, hit me up. Um, Matthew okay. Kolakowski. The Netflix Castlevania show. Highly recommended. Yes, Did Johanna we? would absolutely hate it. We However, watched the, we watched the anime yeah, first episode. That, that's what he's talking about. Uh, yeah. You would not watch it, but you know, I oh. I watched I watched the first season of that and thought it was amazing. So I need to just sit down and kind of just crack on. Western Wolf. Oh no, my players can make their own characters, but there are NPCs based off Amanda Waller, Rick Flag, and Joker. Brilliant, brilliant. Man, I need to play some more D and D. I've just be I've been DMing for. Ooh. You know, a long time. I need to get back in the player's seat. Uh, Hiker 13. Oh, nice one. Grogu Studios, he hates me because he keeps making me get damage in stupid ways. He once made a rock fall on me and nearly suffocated me because a hippo sat on me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds funny, mind. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Uh, Raven... Taking the white frames out, that's why I'm trying to... That's why I'm mocking a little bit. Raven no. 319S. Sounds like a fun community you guys have here. I've just been a casual lurker, checking out all these awesome Lego modules you have. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, don't worry. I tend to be a lurker when I when I join streams too. It's, it's the easier way. But thank you very much for your nice comment. Grogu, I use the D&D &D colours to add detail to the Lego Star Wars figs. Mm. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah. People waving goodbye to Homer Simpson. Hopefully they'll join us again soon. 
good fun. Damn, I didn't say don't. Don't. Once while he was in here, I missed a trick. <laughs> uh, Lego sticker hack. To put stickers inside a panel and get it straight, I stick the sticker on a cocktail stick and hover mm. it over till it looks central, then stick the top down and move the stick. Good idea. Top tips from Lego Mama. Western Wolf. Anyone seen Ash vs. Evil Dead? That's one of my favourite shows. Yeah, that's brilliant as well. What we, we watched watch that at, we things? watched that at uni. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, that was that was such a cool show. Before I took up your time and <laughs> yeah, just stopped much. watching things. <laughs> yeah, it was the same projector, mind. True, true. Uh, Xanthic, I'm done working. Time to go home for supper. Have fun, guys. Bye. Bye. Farewell. And you know what? We've caught up with the chat. So just, so, as, just as we hit the two hour mark. Yeah, so I've kind of been mocking a little bit. Um, there is obviously a wider gap in between here now than, than there should be because it's one, it's one plate higher. But it has allowed me to delete. delete. So allowed me to get rid of the white frames so far, so that's nice. I might have to rethink some of it because this is obviously I'm doing it on the fly. Mm. But so far, no white frames, <laughs> and that's what we're here for. That's I'm it. really tired though. I may, I may. I think we will jump finish, off in a minute. Yeah, I finished this bag and I'm going to go read shoot. a few of these because a few comments coming in. Um, we should Western Wolf. We should have a Lego D and D live stream with the Affles. This has been suggested multiple times, and I do think it would be rather popular. That would be really cool, actually. And I would also be keen. Not that I would say I am one of the Affles, but I am here and I am ready for D&D. &D uh, Ali for Gamer, my, my favourite D&D moment was when our group accidentally found the back entrance to a dungeon, skipped the whole thing and went straight to the end boss. And my Elvid Ranger befriended the final drow boss. Amazing. See, look, this, this is the kind of unpredictability that you just don't get with video games. I love D&D, &D. it's so good. I love to. Yeah. You all know who Ash and Flash is? Yeah. No. Um, the man should take a break and stop uploading for a week to have vacations. I don't think he understands what that means. Oh, really? Workaholic? Yeah, Fair. I think so. I think he's already, because he's a news channel, which is why I'm, I don't do news, partially, but because he's a news channel and he always mm. breaks, like, when things get leaked or released, he, um, he's never he sleeps. just never sleeps and he like wakes up every two hours to like check if there's any news. It's, it's so unhealthy. So yeah, I do worry about him, but... <laughs> Raven 319S. Yeah. I use the tip of a brick separator to hold the sticker for placements. Lots yeah, of creative yeah. methods for this, to be to fair. To be honest, I could have done it much better than I did, I'm not gonna lie. I was Syed Al Hassan. rushed. Um, apparently Netflix got the rights to Narnia, so do you think we may get a Lego yeah, Narnia I heard set about that. soon? I hope but that's I think gonna happen. a Lego Narnia... Sorry, so the series has been rumoured for two years now? Like, it's been a rumour for such a long time. So I don't know if... Because obviously sometimes they just get the rights and then don't do anything with True, it, depending. Yeah. So I don't know if there's going to be something with it. And Teal Bricks. I use tweezers to place stickers. Has that... Okay, I need you guys to actually... The collective knowledge of the cloud. Has there ever been anything le licensed that was a Netflix, li Netflix license? Because I don't know if there has been yet, to be honest, because I know Narnia was Disney, and then I think it mm. was Fox, and then Fox was bought by Disney. However, obviously, if Netflix has bought Narnia, I don't know if Lego has a standing relationship with like licensing Netflix things. Omega Man, remember to like and subscribe, of course, of course. Hiker 13, I thought you briefly said D&D nudes. May subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> well, briefly I did. <laughs> Bricker picks. If you have the clock tower, then swap out the tan frame in the bathroom with a white frame, as you do need a frame for stability at one point, and the top bit needs some reconstruction to remove it. Yeah, yeah, I know. I think I'm gonna. Add, I mean, I've added a layer of plates a minute ago, which has thrown some things off balance, but. We'll have a look. We'll have a look. Lego, I probably will make some changes once I'm off. Lego Mama 92. I named my son after Ash Williams. I love Evil Dead and Ash versus Evil Dead. <laughs> Groovy. That's actually cool. This is how you get baby names. That's it. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. <laughs> Western Wolf. Yep, in there with the Groovy. I feel like I like a You're series a and I just can't remember um, it. Stranger Things is Netflix licensed. Stranger uh, Things. Yes. yes, wasn't Stranger Things made? Yeah, it was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it starts being yep. licensed. I was just wondering out Lots there. of Stranger Things. There are two types of Lego builders. Those who open the bags in order, and those who open all the bags at the beginning. Nope. I've just seen some panic and fear wash across Johanna's face. <laughs> I will support this long list of comments with 
Stranger Things, tis a Netflix property. Tis indeed. Yeah, I've just remembered that, but obviously Does I Does that mean that the Lord of the Rings set's a Netflix property? Uh, so the toy license, probably, it's a retired theme, so it doesn't really matter at this point. Yes. Because the license can expire, remember? My hubby named a black cat we had after <laughs> after Ash. When when Netflix Amazing. bought the Lord of the Rings to do a series for, mm. they may have gotten toy licenses, but we don't know. Or at least I don't know off the top of my head if they would negotiate a toy license. It'd be silly if they hadn't. I'm assuming they would, because like Fungo Pops is very popular, the yeah. Rings toy line. So I'm assuming it would have been in a contract. Ali for Gamer, I love your streams. Also would love a D&D channel from you guys as well. Come on, Ben, do it. Look how many people want it. If he makes it, which I'll try and make him do it, um, I'll, I'll link it on like both the Discord and into, uh, on the community tab. So you guys are aware of Ben's, um, Ben's work. You should do it. I'm hoping that's not a euphemism, Grogu Studios, but he said every time I bring my dog out, a new Ash and Flash video comes out. <laughs> Whoa, Sorry. Johanna's been shaken. <laughs> That seems uh, terrifying. Raven 319S. Back in my day, Lego Bass didn't have numbers. No. Western Wolf. I'm going to cosplay as Ash Williams for a comic convention and Renaissance Fair. We should so do one of those at some point. I think Renaissance Fair is a bit of an American thing. But yeah. yeah, they are. They definitely are. But conventions, they are. Yeah. They're, they're when a they're thing. a thing again, I would love to do. I'd love to sew my own things and then like yeah. go. Yeah. I mean, I definitely do not have the skills, but... I would go... You would try, though, wouldn't you? Yeah. I you may know, not I don't be, know, you I don't may know not what I'd go as, to be fair. Craft, though, to be no. Fair. What would I go as, Johanna? You could be Aragorn. Could be. I haven't got the beard for that. I'm thinking more along the lines of... You could of, be like a mad wizard. I don't know, like time. Master Chief. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a lot of work. That'd be a lot of work, but that'd be sweet. Or the Lich King. That'd be cool. That'd be so yeah. cool. Or Snape. You have the costume. Yeah, or Snape. You'd have to shave the beard, though. Yeah. Not, not a fan of that. Hmm, how am I going to make sure that this... Say Saeed, I remember when doing the Great Hall, it took me longer to put the stickers on the mirror of Erised than building the rest of the first bag. So I'm going to have to put the white uh, frame into this yeah, one. Yeah, of course. Sadly. Jan Fulton, Amazon Prime bought Lord of the Rings. Mm. Yeah, no, that, that was my well, bad. Who's doing, um, who's doing the animated one? The anime one. Oh, yeah. It, is that Netflix actually that is doing the manga thought, that are doing the anime Lord of the Rings? The, like, bye bye Rohirrim. Because are they doing the War of the Rohirrim? They're doing the War of the Rohirrim, yeah. Yeah, about Helm's ha Helm Han Hammerhand. Helm, Helm Hammerhand. Hammerhand. That's a tongue twister. Helm Hammerhand. Unless you say it in an accent. Why the legend of Helm Hammerhand? Okay, yeah, but that's still a thong tongue. Thong flows over the phone. See, I'm tired. I'm losing that's the it. ability to speak. Um, this stream will not be very long. I will I will not get to the final bag because I will fall asleep. Also, I still I need to get up really early tomorrow because I haven't edited my video for tomorrow yet. So I need to do that tomorrow morning. Yay. <laughs> do you know what the 501st Battle Pack is? Star Wars fans are so crazy. They spammed on every single Lego Instagram post that they wanted that set and they actually got it. So where, when are, Power we start, the people. when are we starting to spam about that we won Gringotts, uh, guys? Just, uh, just putting it out there. Oh, we have another subscriber. Thank you, Shah Rognardi. That was good pronunciation. That's literally it. Shah Rognardi. Oh, yeah, it is actually. No, 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 not joking. Well done. Well done. Right. Kimberly Marshall, thank you, guys. It's been lots of fun. Alif Gamer, just for him. Um, did you 3D print your heroes for D&D? &D? We did that in small scale and then in hero scale for display. So we've actually, my party, we've only been playing D&D &D since the middle of the first lockdown here in the UK. So we've only ever played it in digital version. Um, however, at the end of our first campaign that we kind of did as a, a bit of a, an introduction to it, I ran a campaign first and then one of my friends, Tom, ran another mini campaign after that just so we could get the grips of it. He actually did um, get one of the figures of my characters 3D printed for my birthday this year, so that was pretty awesome. That looked so it good. It was so well. cool. Yeah. Zorbin, Zorbin Durgle, yeah, my uh, like artificer him. gnome, what a legend. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so no, we've never played it in person and I really, really want to, but you know, still Roll20 and D&D &D Beyond have been you have, like, absolutely amazing. You have digital like, representations of them. Oh right? yeah, definitely we have those. Um, Hiker 13, while you're building the astronomy tower, just build an extra level. It's comically short. 
yeah, I mean, I'm doing all the mocking on, on Saturday, so I'll be doing lots of stuff then. Because, um, I, I, as I said, I'm just too tired <laughs> at the moment. I think Raven, Raven 319S, did you say Renaissance Fair? I have a meeting going on in the background. You guys need to be a Robin Hood and Maid Marian. You two would be the spitting image. Fair. <laughs> That's fine. Cosplay ideas, Hermione and Harry. Ben can pull off Daniel Radcliffe, no question, and Hermione easily pulls off... I mean, Johanna easily pulls off Hermione. So I'm even getting you two confused. It's a thing. But I totally agree. That would, yeah, I mean, that's the obvious one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like, that is. That. Yeah. We, are there some cool WoW characters we could do? There's so many cool WoW characters. I don't know, um, we'll have to The see. 501st was started by Mandar to make a battle pack of the main clone trooper battalion in Clone Wars. Lego finally made it a set because people wanted it so badly. It was because the clone troopers were hard to get. Yeah, I mean, that's fair enough. Plus, if they're clones, I'm assuming you can get loads of them because there would have yeah. been loads well, of them. Yeah, well, because they're clones. Yeah. Yeah. That's a, yeah. That a very easy thing to do, isn't it, I suppose? How are we getting on? Slowly. Slowly. Looks like we've, uh, we've definitely caught up with the chat now. This is quite incredible. Yay. I'm, I'm, I'm very slow, I'm sorry. But there you go. I think they're also catching up to us, but... I forgot that I had to read it on my face. There you go. And then there. <laughs> Adriana Mello, another subscriber right there for us. Oh, nice. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. You should have that noise. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Can you program noises into this? Yeah. Has anyone used Sirenscape and do they know if it's any good? I kind of started trying it, but I can't work out if you can actually use it over Discord or anything like that. There we go. Nice. All attached so Very far. Cool. So I know I'm really close to finishing. I know there's only one bag, and I've just missed this uh, newspaper to put somewhere. But I am really, really tired. And as I said, I need to edit my video. It's probably going to be the review of Bag End that's coming out tomorrow. I think we've so both got a nice 6:30 wake up tomorrow. Yeah, I need to get up early so I can edit that before work. So um, thanks for being here. It was lovely chatting to you all. As usual, like just being on the live stream always cheers me up so much. It's so nice to chat to you all. So that's fantastic. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, evening, week, morning, month. week, life, life. everything. <laughs> Please do join us on Saturday or join me on Saturday for the Harry Potter live stream where I'll be mocking and chatting and just all around celebrating Harry Potter and the channel. And yeah, thanks for being here, guys, and giving me your time. It's been great. So I hope you have a fantastic time. Bye.